Hello, hello. Check one, two. Check one, two. Are we live? Hello? Hello? Uh Hello? Knock knock, anybody there? What is up, guys? Dashing here for episode 284 of Thursday Night. No, 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 of Community Universe Mode Edition number 71 of Thursday Night Genesis. Almost got that flip-flop right there, my friends. But either way, indeed, we are set for another action-packed card here. Fresh off the heels of Point Break, my personal favorite pay-per-view thus far this season. Just four weeks away from the second annual Regicide. Just two weeks away from the second annual Dark Carnival. Going to be a special event this year. First box right off the... Right right from the get-go, you know? That's how you start off CMV, man. If it's not with a botch, then it's just not, it's just not CMV, you know what I mean? If we don't start off the show with a botch and just set the tone for the rest of the night, then then what is it really? It's not the real CMV, all right? I'm not the real dashing, you know, the old dashing. But what's up, Suntan? Big Sunny coming to see if Pierre Thompson can qualify for the Elimination Chamber match at Dark Carnival. Of course, it has been announced Randy Borton, the Moo Man. Will be defending his international title in CMB's 13th Elimination Chamber. It'll be the second time ever that the international title is defended inside of the demonic structure. We are going to find out two of the five challengers. Pierre Thompson will be taking on Jeremy Blake and Salvi in a triple threat match. And we have Jay Davis battling Kenji Murakami. I can't announce now here, kicking off Genesis, that tomorrow on Reality Wrestling, it will be Salim Ismail and John Reed, the main event of Reality Wrestling, edition number five, and a qualifier. And then next week, we are going to see Kaiva and Zach Cage battle it out. And as well, the final qualifying match will be Andrew Briggs and Ryan Kent coming head-to-head, -head, who are going to be the five men 
stepping inside of the devil's favorite structure. The chance to become the international champion or chance for Randy Borton to set the record for most tell defenses as international champion. He's currently tied with Troy Voodoo, Jackson, Jordan, Jeremy Blake, and Bison at four. Can he make it to five? He'll have to outlast five other men in just two weeks' time. But kicking off the show here tonight, my friends, it is the return of some season one veterans, former tag team champions here in CMB, the United Kingdom, who after a near two-year hiatus returned at point break, attacking extreme conditions, looking to get themselves back into the title picture, almost immediately making an impact as they brutally beat down Eric Thunder and Matt Jefferson, staking their claim to what was once theirs. Now we're going to see if any of that, you know, sure, attacking someone or a couple of people from behind, you know, maybe, you know, yeah, you'll get the upper hand there, but we'll see if there's any ring rust on these two CMV veterans here tonight as they make their in-ring return. Taking on Heaven or Hell, former tag team champions in their own right. What up, Big X702 and Noah, everybody welcome. These are season one veterans, Suntan. Former tag team champions on Unmatched, and in fact hold the second longest reign as tag team champions. The third, technically, as bringers of despair and hashtag trending old water tied for first. I believe these two held the titles for five or six months when they were the tag team champions. They haven't held, even though they were season one veterans on the original NXT, or my NXT way back when, when CMB first started, they never held the titles back then. These two men are the second ever tag team champions in CMB's history. Two absolute legendary duos colliding here to kick off Genesis. What up, Batman? Kenji, my friend, welcome. Kenji Murakami, as I said, Going to try to qualify for the Elimination Chamber later on tonight when he takes on Jay Davis. See who the first man will be to take one of those five open positions. Heaven or Hell have not had the greatest season thus far. They had about a, a month leading up to uh, validation. They were, on, they were on fire, man. They were absolutely uh, fuego. But uh, then they ran into extreme conditions, lost out on that title opportunity, putting down the United Kingdom in their in-ring return would certainly push them up the rankings once again as extreme conditions are certainly looking for challengers with Regicide just four weeks away. Every single championship in CMV going to be on the line. That's eight title matches, one card. He's got a big belly to belly. Taking Angelico overhead. This is big Griffin Drake kicking things off. We already know uh, a couple of title matches confirmed for Regicide. Of course, Bison the Barbarian and the new CMB Alpha World Champion, Bob Luger, will battle for that title. The new champ in action tonight in the main event. He takes on Kaiva, the former champion, Furious Frank, actually in action up next, taking on Andrew Briggs. But that title match confirmed for Regicide and also a triple threat match announced for the CMB Anarchy Championship as Chris Andrews, the bloody Brett, will put his title on the line against Sam Valentine and Bannon, a match announced for Dark Carnival as well. It will be Sam Valentine and Bannon actually teaming up against Chris Andrews and a partner of his choosing in some tag team action. What up, Tomcat? Nice spine buster there by Griffin Drake as now he tags in the much smaller, the quicker, the more agile. Richard Franco who just gets pummeled here by Diablo. That crossbody then are just raining down some punches left and right. <laughs> Sometimes I didn't take you for a fam watcher. It was cool seeing him at uh What was that pay-per-view their, their like Survivor Series that's the pay-per-view they had a while ago? It was cool seeing Nick Virtue there. That's cool. Whoa! That knee was pretty cool there by Diablo, smashing Richard Franco's face in. Uh, well, there's going to be two other guys with them, Echo. Is it gay in a four-way? We know it's not gay if it's in a three-way, but what about a four-way, Echo? That's the question in everyone's mind. Along with those two qualifying matches for the Elimination Chamber tonight, guys, we're also going to be seeing, like I said, Furious Frank in action. Fresh off of his title loss, he battles Andrew Briggs, the main event, the new champ, Bob Luger in action, battling Kaiva. We're also going to have Anderson, Rex, and 
El Jefe going a Juan a Juan. And a rematch from the Tag Team Cup. The late heavyweight champion Nikola Ivanovich will battle Elijah Stewart. I'm excited to see that. That match in Tokyo was absolutely awesome. Five stars. I'm excited to see them go at it again here tonight. As it's the two big men duking it out. Yeah, survival. That was, that was it. That was a good paper. Oh! Look at that clothesline. More like a lariat, I guess I'd say, off the top rope there by Diablo. Tag to Angelico now. As we kick off Genesis with some tag team action. Two legendary duos going at it. What up, Vic? See if Andrew Briggs can pull off another huge upset like he did last week when he beat Bison. Can he take down the alpha male tonight? Just have to wait and see. It's been announced at the top of the stream that next week Andrew Briggs will battle Ryan Kent in an Elimination Chamber qualifying match. Heading into that with a win over Furious Frank would certainly uh, do some good for him. Don't forget tomorrow on Reality Wrestling, the main event, another qualifier. Salim Ismail and John Reed going to go at it. This is the United Kingdom hellish battling heaven or hell here. First time in nearly two years we're seeing Richard Franco and Drake Griffin back in his CMB ring. Former tag team champions, the third longest reigning tag champs in CMB's history. Going to get a tag to old Richard now. Back suplex. Franco with a cheeky little hop over. Going to go out to the ring apron. Beckoning and Helico to rise to his seat. The two high flyers, the two speedsters colliding here. A drop kick right to the spine. That could not have felt very good. The next stream is tomorrow, TJ. Reality Wrestle, which is like CMV's version of main event or superstars. It's going to be four matches. Two from Fusion, two from Genesis. That main event going to be Salim Ismail and John Reed. And an Elimination Chamber qualifying match. Frog splash there by Franco. And now a tag to, to Griffin. What do we got here? Oh, ho, 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 full throttle. I don't know how that busted in Helico open. One, two, three. And Richard Franco, Griffin, Drake are back to the United Kingdom. With a successful return to CMV. Backing up their attack on extreme conditions at point break. And what a nasty finishing maneuver there to put down in Helico. Full throttle. Shout out to Bison and Duo Maxwell with that one. Uh, Reality Wrestling is live between 10 and 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the morning. The morn. What a great win for the United Kingdom. They're back. They had their sights set on the tag team titles. See if they can get there. See what extreme conditions response will be to that attack on them. At point break, we'll head into the next matchup of the evening. Juan on Juan, Mano y Mano, Andrew Briggs shackling up with Furious Frank. Of course, the CMB Universe and Bob Luker himself were hoping that we get a rematch for the Alpha World title. Luger coming out here at the top of the show, calling out Frank, saying he wants a rematch. Let's do it here tonight. Let's get it out of the way. You know, while we're both still fresh off that match of the night, inside the Hell in a Cell, Bob Luger dethroning Furious Frank, getting revenge for his father, for Tim LaFave, for himself. But Furious Frank saying, nah, -uh, no way, my friend. You know what? I'll get my rematch on my own terms. I'm going to let Bison carry you a new one, and then I'll come and collect my rematch for what is still my title. You just keep it warm for me, bub. So Furious Frank shutting down Luger, shutting down the CM Universe. Instead, going to be tossed up against Andrew Briggs here tonight as he looks to bounce back. But Briggs coming off a win last week against Bison. Going to look to take one over the Alpha Male, head into his Elimination Chamber qualifier next week. Win or lose here, he'll still have that qualifier next week. That won't be an easy match, though. Take it on Ryan Ken. I'm excited about that. You should be, too. A rematch from Ascendance, the light heavyweight title. What a match that was in the show of shows. Find out who the first two of five challengers will be in the chamber tonight, though. Jay Davis battling Kenji Murakami later on. Salvi, Jeremy Blake, and Pierre Thompson in a triple threat match. We'll watch an hour-long Royal Rumble, but a 20-min gaming vid. What? Uh, 
Uh, United Kingdom won the last match, Hellish. Pretty back and forth match with her kick off the show. And here comes the two time light heavyweight champion. Well, who are you talking about, Santana D'Angelo? Andrew Briggs, of course, a former contender for the international title, kicked off the season. That triple threat match between himself, Kenji Murakami, and Randy Borton to crown a new champion, which is obviously won by the Moo Moo Man. And Borton since then just taken that momentum and rolled with it. The best record thus far this season. Close on breaking two records for longest reigning, most title defenses as international champion. I don't think anybody thought that Andrew Briggs would defeat Bison last week, but he did. I don't think anybody thinks he'll beat Furious Frank here tonight. And I'm kind of iffy on that. You know, Briggs proved us wrong last week, but Frank's in a foul mood more so than usual. Look at that. Wake up, kick ass, repeat. Alpha male making his way to the ring, circling Andrew Briggs like a shark, smelling blood in the water. Briggs in the ring, not looking too impressed. And our first tweet of the evening, guys, comes from Jay Davis. He says, Kenji Murakami? Really? Kenji couldn't fight himself, much more me. He needs to act like his partner and become irrelevant. Damn, some savagery there by Jay Davis. Can he back it up later on tonight? When he battles Kenji in that Elimination Chamber qualifier. Here we go. Big opportunity for Andrew Briggs to not only pick up some momentum, but put down a former Alpha World Champion. See if he can pull off another big time upset. Bison, just four weeks time, gets his shot. Finally, one on one for a World Championship when he challenges Bob Luger. Nice elbow drop there by the Alpha Male. The Mohawk Man. Taking overhead there with a fireman's carry. Up next will be that first Elimination Chamber qualifier, Jay Davis and Kenji Murakami battling out for the first time ever. Later on, teammates at point break. Opponents tonight as only one of them can make it into the chamber. Salvi, Jeremy Blake, and Pierre Thompson duke it out. Triple threat action. These elbow drops from Briggs, though. And I put my life on the fact that Bob Luger is in the back keeping a close eye on this match. As he prepares for his first match as Alpha Champion later on in the main event. Tangling with Kaiva. Big boot there by Frank looking nasty. As now he tries to dislocate that shoulder. Another tweet here, guys, from The King. He says, the amount of hatred I show currently for not being involved in this event is impossible to measure. I demand retribution. King Matt not happy that he's not booked here tonight. I think maybe Dave Turner give him a little bit of... A little bit of a rest after his performance at point break. He didn't even get a hit in as he challenged Nikola Ivanovich for the light heavyweight title. Nikola on action tonight. A rematch from the Tag Team Cup taking on Elijah Stewart. Poking the eyes there by Briggs. We know he is not afraid to get his hands dirty. Bend the rules in his favor. <clears throat> Furious Frank getting his coconut cracked off that steel post. Now referee... At a count of two, a win is a win. I'm sure going through Andrew Briggs' mind right now, he's saying, oh, crotch shot there by Frank. Not give it a foot. Oh, the eight ball said it. What the eight ball says goes, my friends. Referee at a count of four. Frank doesn't seem too concerned with the referee's count, though. He is just beating the hell out of Briggs right now. What is this? Dear God, no, not on the outside. Power bomb. Seven, ladies and gentlemen. Frank lifting up the lifeless body of Andrew Briggs and I toss him back into the ring to break that count. Frank might be an asshole, but he likes to win the old-fashioned way. He likes to pin his opponents. Oh, nice drop kick there by Andrew, sensing that he's in big-time trouble, a slit of the throat. Telling us that he's still in the game, a two-time light heavyweight champion. Andrew Briggs dragging Frank out of the corner. Stopping the knee into the canvas. Andrew trying to stay in control. Catches an elbow to the ribs though. Now Frank. Vintage Frank with the sit out face buster. That's what brought him to two world tag team title reigns. Or one. Was it two or one for Fast and Furious? I think it was one. That lasted pretty long. 
the one World Tag Team title reign and an Alpha World Championship reign, of course. As Andrew Briggs, I believe, trying to keep himself alive in this match. Going to try to go for his comeback. There's one forearm smash. There is a second one. It ducks the clothesline attempt. Big time Pele kick. Frank tried to block it, but I don't think uh, don't think it was very successful as Briggs going to go for that vintage shining wizard of his knee to the side of the head. Might have just knocked him out cold as Briggs in the corner. He's in control right now. I don't know how smart it is to be taunting, though. If I were in there against Frank, I wouldn't waste a second. See, there you go. Frank beginning to stir, using the ropes to pick himself back up. Andrew Briggs closing in, spinning soul kick. Now he's got to put Frank in the corner. If he puts Frank in the corner, he could very well walk out the victor as he goes to that shining wizard combo. But Frank counters, goes for a scoop slam, drops down. Does Andrew Briggs big time reverse DDT to the alpha male. Going for that soccer ball kick. Frank saw it coming, that veteran instant kicking in. And a nice sit-out power bomb. One, two, not even a two count. I got a little bit overzealous there. Stomp down onto the form again. Going to target that shoulder as he stomps it out. Just sitting on it. Frank nearing 300 pounds. As it goes for another sit-out face buster, perhaps Briggs says, oh, one is good enough, my friend. Dragon. Breaks to the middle of the ring. This does not look good. Oh, a choke slam all the way from hell. That seems to have taken it out of Frank here. Taking a breather as he immediately sizes up Briggs with eyes to finish. He hit two of these on Bob Luger at point and break. Will one be enough to put down Briggs? One, two. Three, it will. Furious Frank picks up the victory. A fast-paced back-and-forth brawl, but the alpha male kicking himself in the ass. Hasn't cashed in his rematch clause. Refused to do so tonight. Says he's going to wait until Bison gets through with Bob Luger. Then he'll come and get his title back. But tonight he's showing us that he is still the alpha male as he puts down Andrew Briggs with a thunderous pile driver. I'd say Frank is pretty furious. I'd say Frank is ticked. He's not too happy. We'll see how Bob Luger does later on tonight in the main event, his first match as the Alpha World Champion. And he'll take on Kaiva. But coming up next, we'll see who the first of five men will be joining Randy Borton inside of the Elimination Chamber next Sunday as Jay Davis battles Kenji Murakami. Furious Frank. Andrew Briggs looking up at them in the lights. Ooh, guess who just messaged me, Borton? John Michael. I've been talking to him about joining CMB. Gonna get Big John back. That'd be cool. Furious Frank hopping on his Harley. Does shit on his own terms. Bob Luger not happy about it. The fans not happy about it, but Furious Frank is happy about it. Here we go, folks. Up next, let's see who will be joining the Moo Moo Man inside of that dreaded chamber. Oh, nope. I guess that's after this match. My bad. My bad, everybody. Sorry I hyped you up for Jay Davis versus Kenji Murakami. That is up after this match. First, we're going to get some more singles action as Anderson Rex of the Hellhounds battles El Jefe de Arriba, man. The Moo Moo Man not in action tonight, but I'm sure he's backstage or at home, his hotel room, wherever he is, watching closely as to who's going to be joining him inside of that chamber next Sunday. And it has been confirmed that... <coughs> Excuse me. Getting that whistle through my nose. Hang on one second.
as I was saying, next Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, at the second annual Dark Carnival event. Though last year it was an actual pay-per-view, this year just a special event as we are in that spooky, scary month of October here. CMB time, but it has been announced that Anderson Rex will be going one-on-one -on -one with Double K, Kid and Kinner, the Battle Beast, after this uh, past month. The Hellhounds and Kane and Kinner have been exchanging blows. Anderson Rex trying to lead his boys. Make an example out of Kane and Kinner. At the expense of uh, of the Battle Beast himself. Kane and Kinner has taken down Dallas Chandler. He actually put Gabriel Scott on the shelf. Gabriel Scott has been injured, guys. He has been put away. We don't know for how long, but if you saw that match a couple of weeks back in the live event, he was stretched out. Kane and Kinner continued the assault despite that. And speaking of, who is that? Kata Kenra from behind, attacking Anderson Rex. Oh my God! Face Buster on the steel ramp. The Battle Beast beating down his Dark Carnival opponent. Oh, and there's Anderson Rex with a back body drop. The leader of the Hellhounds fighting back here, not taking this lion down. And Anderson Rex now trying to create some distancing himself. And the Battle Beast, but Kane and Kinner still come and runs chest first right into Anderson Rex. Sends himself flying back. Kaden though, and Irish Rope going to try to put him in the ring, sending a strong message. He took down Anderson Rex's boys. And now he's going to try to do the same to him. The referee trying to call these two apart, signaling for security, signaling for backup to break these two up. As into the ring goes Kaden Kinner. Anderson Rex doesn't seem to want any of this. Changed his mind. Back and then they go, Kaden Kenner counters though. Oh, goes for a big spinning heel kick. Rex counter it though. Vintage Kaden with these rapid kicks to the chest. And ladies and gentlemen, we know where that final one goes. Right to the back of the head. Anderson Rex is out cold. And here comes security. Here comes some more referees to break these two up. To separate them. As Kaden Kenner with a fire in his eyes is absolutely livid. Letting Anderson Rex that he made a mistake in trying to come after him, trying to make a name for he and his boys off of the Battle Beast, the two-time Anarchy Champion. And now, my friends, it is time to get into that first Elimination Chamber qualifying match as Jay Davis battles Kenji Murakami. I feel bad for El Jefe. I was excited. I'm a big Arriba Man fan, the fit to human fish. But unfortunately, we're going to have to wait to see El Jefe maybe next week. As Caden Kenra was just too ticked off. He was too furious. Wanted to get his hands on Rex. And I don't blame him. Here we go, my friends. Who is going to be joining Randy Borton inside of the Elimination Chamber next Sunday with the international title on the line? The Moo Moo Man on the verge of setting the record for the longest reign in most title defenses as international champion. But to make it to five defenses, he's going to have to put down five others inside of the Devil's Favorite Structure, the 13th Elimination Chamber in CMB's history. The second time ever, the international title will be defended inside of the demon's domain. Five spots still remain. Two to be filled tonight. Later on, triple threat action. Salvi, Jamie Blake, and Pierre Thompson duke it out. Tomorrow on Reality Wrestling Edition number five, Salim Ismail and John Reed going to battle it out. Next Thursday, it's going to be Kaiva battling Zach Cage. And Andrew Briggs battling Ryan Kent. As here comes Jay Davis, who is very confident about himself. We heard that tweet earlier tonight. And rightfully so, since coming to Genesis a couple of weeks back, he beat Zach Cage in his debut match, and he won that impromptu over-the-top rope battle royal at point break, eliminating the likes of Kaiva and Dmitry Nurmagomedov. Jay Davis hungry for his first taste of CMV gold. He's going to have to get past the Japanese buzzsaw first. And Kenji Murakami. 
And this is not the first time ever that these two have fought. Though it has been uh, quite a while. Last time they came head to head was actually early on in both men's careers. I think it was actually maybe their debut matches against each other. Both men have certainly evolved, though, and Kenji Murakami has had his taste at the international title on multiple occasions. Again, he was in that triple threat match, the debut episode of Genesis this season, where he battled Andrew Briggs and Randy Borton. He also challenged Randy Borton one-on-one -on -one for the title at CyberSlam. Kenji Murakami coming into this matchup with a victory under his belt as well. Put down newcomer George Hunter last week. Here we go, my friends. Who's going to be the first man to join Randy Borton inside the Elimination Chamber next Sunday at Dark Carnival? We're about to find out. Jay Davis, Kenji Murakami going to go at it. Yo, what up, Lil Narwhal, my friend? Ready for Seth Baker to debut? Soon. Got him downloaded. Newcomer. Going to be, uh... Or is it Shane Baker? Shane, Shane Baker or Seth? I think it's Seth Baker. Going to be coming to Genesis. Debuting some point this month. Maybe next week. Excited to see him, but right now it is Jay Davis and Kenji Murakami in that ring. You can see that Jay Davis has a pretty significant height advantage. Been training under general manager Dave Turner lately. The technical prodigy can obviously see that Jay Davis not only being tutored by Dave Turner, but apparently rating his, uh, his, his, his wardrobe as well. Looking a lot like the CMB Hall of Famer. And, you know, apparently the training's working because, like I said, he beat Zach Cage in his debut. He... Won that impromptu over the top rope battle royal at point break. He's been on a roll. So, oh, what a big boot there. They're taking Kenji's head off. Sending that man bun up into the cheap seats. Oh! Dragons! Our first of the night. Kenji America. Oh, how about that kick to retaliate, though? Smacking the taste right out of Davis's mouth. Kenji ain't no pushover. Recently, these past couple months, been teaming with uh, Kevin Lee in the tag team division, Power and Glory. But Kenji recently tweeting out that he's, he kind of wants to branch out on his own once again. And we've been hearing that Kevin Lee's contract is sooner out here and seeing if we don't know if he's going to be resigning. So Murakami, for the foreseeable future, going to be on his own once again. What a win it would be to get himself inside of the Elimination Chamber. A shot at the International Championship again. Jay Davis with this combination of leg drops. It's four now. Back to back to back to back. Now he's going up to the top. Jay Davis, uh, not, not frequently a high flyer, but he is tonight going to take the risk. Beckon and Kenji Murakami to rise to his feet. Kenji's trying to get out of Dodge, trying to roll out of the way. Jay Davis with a missile drop kick that connects to the spine. Might have just shattered it into a million little pieces. Blow to the midsection. The Japanese buzzsaw back to his feet. Closes in on Davis with a beautiful tilt-a-whirl arm drag. Either one of these men going into the elimination chamber would certainly be someone to keep your eye on to pull off that upset. It would be both men's first time inside of the Devil's Favorite Structure. Randy Borton, of course, the man who will be defending next Sunday at Dark Carnival, has been in the Elimination Chamber twice pr uh, prior. Just at the end of last season, the second annual exit, the first annual exit as well. A couple other men in qualifying matches, Salim Ismail, John Reed would be a first time for either of them. Salvi, Jeremy Blake, Pierre Thompson would be a first time for any three of them. Next week, though, Zach Cage has been in Elimination Chamber once before, as has uh, Ryan Kent. As we get a cover here by Jay Davis. Just a two count. 
Echo, Rifted has betrayed me. I saw him upload Omega Z with uh, TCW tags. He's gone to the dark side. No, I don't. I don't. I'm not actually upset, but I don't have the room and he's not watching. Please understand. I need that room, fam. Two count there by Kenji Murakami. That successful dive from the second turnbuckle misses the drop kick. Up over the shoulders, Jay Davis, GTS. Actually, both men uh, frequently go for that maneuver. And Jay Davis pleased with himself as he hangs up on the top rope. Like it ain't no thing, but a chicken wing. Kenji trying to get himself back to his feet, realizing he's in big time trouble. Going to show Davis how it's done. Oh, beautiful kick to the side of the head off that counter and reversal. The reversal? Uh, you'd have to send the picture and stuff to Trouble. I don't know if you're still in here, Trouble. But Kenji wants a new attire, a new look for Murakami. So if you uh, if you wouldn't mind, Kenji, send, him the, send the screenshot to him. Or after the show, I remember you still whispered it to me. So I can send it to him. Wait a minute, Kenji, Kenji, Kenji. Kinshasa! Into the pin, that shin straight to the face. One, two, but just a two count. Kenji Murakami keeping himself alive here. A mighty roar. Don't know how smart it is to be taunting. Up top, Davis beginning to stir. Oh, shoots. Yeah, but Topher still watches it, though. And Topher doesn't build arenas for TCW. He just watches. As Jay Davis tossed the outside. What is Kenji Murakami going for here? The Japanese buzzsaw showing why he's called that. Through the ropes of the tornado, DDT on the outside. Jay Davis get his coconut cracked, and the fans chanting, "This is awesome!" Certainly been a fast-paced, high flying, pretty surprisingly by Jay Davis. If he's taking a couple of risks in this match, both these men want this. Count of three it would be Jay Davis's first ever, I think, even even title match period here in CM. I don't think he's ever been in a title match before. As look at that, just wiping the dust off Kenji Murakami. Complete and total disrespect. Not even allowing that clean ring entry. Kenji Murakami immediately clocked right in the jaw. Goes to that leaping knee strike to the spine. Irish whip now puts him in the corner. Jay Davis is groggy. He's not feeling too hot right now, but he's still in it. And Davis, we've seen this before this. We put down Zach Cage with that gourd buster knee straight to the face. One, two, three. No. Oh my goodness, that close call, 2.9999999. Kenji Murakami, I did not think he'd get out of that. That just tells you how much Kenji wants this opportunity. They're going to sit out power bomb by Davis. That was beautiful. The strength that took right there, deadlift to Kenji. Though Kenji's not a very big man still. Jay Davis isn't either. As Davis now calling for the end. And Jay a second time. Go into that classic GTS. Busting Kenji wide open. Middle of the ring. Throwing him down an aggressive pinfall. One, two, three. And Jay Davis is going to Dark Carnival. Jay Davis has secured himself a spot inside of the Elimination Chamber. But it was no easy task, my friends. What a matchup. Kenji Murakami showing off his heart, his resiliency in that match. He did not go down easy. But certainly he earned that win. And Jay Davis takes the first of five spots. Joining Randy Borton. We'll see who else is going to grab themselves a, a little a sweet inside of the Demon's Domain next Sunday. Later on in the co-main event, Salvi, Jamie Blake, and Pierre Thompson going at it. He sent me a picture of it too, Trouble, so I can send that to you uh, after the stream too and get that to you as well. I thought it would be over right here, to be honest. Kenji Murakami surprised me by kicking out of that Gourd Buster GTS, but Jay Davis didn't waste too much time. Immediately a second standard GTS finally did it in for him.
Jay Davis certainly earned that opportunity. Could we very well be looking at the next CMB International Champion, my friends? What a match and what a win. As we head into our next bout of the evening, a rematch, my friends, from the second annual CMB Tag Team Cup live from Tokyo, Japan a couple of months ago. The CMB Light Heavyweight Champion, Nikola Ivanovich in action, fresh off of his second title defense against King Matt at point break where he absolutely obliterated the King. Matt not even getting one hit in. Very reminiscent of Adam Adams versus Quan Che, which Noah was uh, quick to point out there. Poor cause. <laughs> But Elijah Stewart been on a roll himself since DJ Moore has come back reforming the family dudes with attitude, whatever you want to call them. The former world tag team champions and Elijah Stewart in singles action scoring a win over El Jefe in a fishbowl match at point break. Nikolai Ivanovich in need for a challenger with Regicide quickly approaching. Every title to be on the line. Eight title matches, one card. <sighs> Is Rise <laughs> is Rise even in Nicola? Uh Sebastian might get in there sometimes. Consensual, of course. Consensual. Still to come tonight, guys. The other qualifier, of course, triple threat action, our main event, Kaiva. With a big opportunity to put down the brand spanking new CMB Alpha World Champion, the work ethic Titan Bob Luger. We've got a slew of debuts as well on tonight's live event. Going to see the debut of Arrow as he battles George Hunter. Going to see the debut of the great Akuma as he takes on Duke Briggs. We're also going to see Goody Sukhanov in action again. He's actually in handicap match battling the Red Nose Stranglers. <clears throat> but I touched earlier on how good of a match it was between these two. In Tokyo, Japan, some months back. Five stars. It wasn't a great ending as well. I absolutely loved it. One of my favorite finishes, I think, was a missile dropkick off the top rope by Nicola to the back of Elijah Stewart. And immediately, Nicola locked in an SDF to tap out the Good Vibes Kid. Can he do it again tonight? And keep his roll momentum going. It's actually spelled A-E-R-O. Arrow. He's been, in the, he's, he's been in the chat a lot. Watched for a long time, finally getting his call in on the action. Here's a tweet from Jay Davis. My friend says, sorry, Kenji. There's only so much one man can take. Lucky for me, I have my nameplate already made. So line the dominoes, and I'll put them down one by one. Jay Davis, very confident. And again, it's hard to, de it's hard to shut him down. Uh, this isn't Fusion Echo. This is Thursday Night Genesis. <clears throat> and Nikola Ivanovich in his third month as CMV. Light heavyweight champion. Surprising me. Absolutely surprising me. I was, I was among the, the, the popular amount of people, you know, the majority, who thought that Nikola Ivanovich wasn't going to last long. I thought he would immediately lose it. To Elijah Stewart, to be completely honest. You know, I was a little bit biased, but he has proven the doubt is wrong. He shut me up. And he has been on a tear. My favorite game of all time is the Mass Effect series. Our website is communityuniverse.formotion.com. You can hit exclamation point join in the chat to get a link for yourself, my friend. And then you go to the Fusion slash Genesis promo section. Nikola Ivanovich representing Rise on... Quite honestly, if we're just going to be bare about it, the only successful member of Rise since they debuted. And hardly is, is even concerned with the majority of their affairs. Kind of like Nikola Ivanovich has branched out on his own while Sean Silva keeps Sebastian, Michonne, and Murdoch close to his, uh, his vest. Close to his chest. His vest? Does he wear a vest? I know he wears a fedora. He probably wears a vest. Fucking hipster fag. Mass Effect 2 would be my favorite of the series. I don't know, Suntan. Why'd you never play with me? <clears throat> I 
Nicola buried eight people in one night? <laughs> oh, here's a tweet, guys, from Sean Silva, who says, Saying Nicola is the only successful member of Rise is not only wrong, but disrespectful. We will find our moments and rise above the hate. I apologize, Sean Silva. I certainly don't want Rise ganging up on me. That seems to be the only way they can ever get an edge over, get a win, is when they use the numbers game. As we saw at point break when it was even odds, Salvi, Jeremy Blake, and Pierre Thompson molly whopped him. And here comes the family dudes with attitude. But this is Elijah Stewart in singles action. His half-brother, DJ Moore, former World Tag Team Champs. Together. DJ going to be ringside for that support here. Exclamation point join, TJ. And then click on the link that pops up. And then once you're on the site, go to the Fusion and Genesis role-playing section. And then, you know, make sure you're signed into your account, obviously. If you don't have one, make sure you make one. And then just post your promo, my friend. Here we go, rematch from the Tag Team Cup. A couple of months ago, live from Tokyo, Japan. We are live from Wisconsin here tonight. As Nikola Ivanovich and Elijah Stewart going to get it on. Wait a minute. K-Matt coming down to the ring. What the hell is he doing down here? I thought he wasn't here tonight. He let out that tweet earlier saying he was upset that he wasn't involved with the program. And it looks like he's going to the corner of Elijah Stewart hanging out with DJ Moore here. The two are buddies. Looks like they're holding hands. And King Matt apparently not finished with Nikola Ivanovich. Not going to take that burial lightly that he received at point break. And this is bad news for Nikola Ivanovich, who's now pretty much facing a three-on-one situation here. As Elijah Stewart hammers away the light heavyweight champion. Momentarily distracted in the good vibes kid. Looking to take advantage Nicola, though, going to try to try to maintain focus here. It was probably already tough with DJ Moore being ringside, but now he's got to deal with King Matt, who's, I got to assume, probably shouting out some uh, very confusing shit, maybe some riddles or something. I'm not, I don't know. Oh, what a slap by Elijah. And now an attitude adjustment. I'd certainly like to see the attitude of Nikola Ivanovich adjust a little bit. And now Elijah Stewart beckoning Nikola Ivanovich to rise to his feet. The high flyer, the risk taker with a nice phenomenal forearm there. Elijah Stewart, indeed a former world tag team champion alongside his half-brother DJ Moore there ringside. Who's standing next to King Matt. The two are buddy buddies. They kind of, they, they got that personal space now going on a little bit. A little bit weird there at the start, but uh. Elijah Stewart, certainly no stranger to singles competition, of course, turned on his brother DJ, leading up to Ascendance 4. The two had that bloody rivalry, which culminated in Elijah Stewart apologizing. DJ Moore returning last month, the two reforming their alliance, their tag team. But Elijah, a former contender for the light heavyweight and international championship, as he takes it to Nikola Ivanovich here. Oh, and there's uh, some good vibes, my friends. Elijah Stewart shoots for the pin, hooks the leg. One, two, just a two count. <laughs> Jawbreaker by the CMV light heavyweight champion. Not taking this lying down. Not taking these shenanigans. Lifts him up into the air. Elijah Stewart counters, though. Right in the middle of it. Knee down to the top of the noggin. Pits him in the corner. Ivanovich in a world of trouble right now. Oh, God, what is Elijah going for here? Look out, DJ. Look out, King Matt. They're dispersing, giving him room. Baseball slide drop kick. Dear Lord, that oversell by Nicola has turned himself <laughs> inside out. Ah, uh, who can ever forget that Elijah Stewart? Fucking 
D'Angelo Prince match. The greatest feud of all time. Hooks the leg. Does Elijah the Good Vibes Kid looking to bring home a seriously big victory if he can pin the light heavyweight champion. And just a two count there. Nikola back to his feet. What's Nikola again? Serbian? I believe he is. Oh, and there's the Luger landing. Big fan of the new Alpha World Champion. Hooks the leg. One, two, only a two count. We know that heart of Elijah Stewart. One of the things he's most known for. Never gives up until he's literally dead, until he can't go anymore. As Nicola going to try to finish things off here. Track to the jaw, turns it around. There's the rolling cutter. Making sure there ain't no rope break shenanigans. Doesn't go for the pin. I don't know how smart that is. Instead, I believe he's going to try for a comeback. Maybe that is smart. Maybe he knows that that's not going to be enough to put down Elijah. Going to try to do some more damage. Look at these forearms. Catapulting himself off the turnbuckle. Another forearm and then a bulldog. That was a beautiful combination. DJ Morris not loving the sight right now. Bringing the knee down under the kidneys. Nikola Ivanovich in firm control right now. Elijah Stewart's getting molly -wop, my friends. Elijah Stewart, I don't even know if he's home. The lights might be on, but I think he's, I think he's on vacation right now. Again, with the impaler DDT, Elijah somehow propping right back up. Though, like, it ain't no thing, my friends. Pits him in the corner with an Irish whip. Back up out of the corner, saves Nicola. And he's going for that sit-out powerbomb that he beat King Matt with at point break. But Elijah Stewart going to save himself. Big old clothesline taking the champ off his feet. And now Elijah's amped. Elijah's hyped up. Looking to keep himself alive. He's wasting a lot of time, though. Going to go for it. There's a forearm smash. There's a second forearm smash. And a catchphrase to complete the combination. Lifting Nicola to his feet. A second dose of good vibes. Maybe you're going for that powerbomb if his family matters. No. Sit out face buster. Ivanovich reverses. And this is bad news. But the good vibes kid to the end. Scott. Elijah's still kicking, he's still alive, shoots the half, one, two, only a two count. <clears throat> Elbow drop to the top of the head. Out under the ring apron goes Elijah Stewart, gonna take that risk and it does not pay off. Nikola Ivanovich with that champion's awareness, that veteran instinct, knows the ring at the back of his hand, rolling out of the way. Now what's he going for? A big boot, maybe. Victory roll by Elijah Stewart. Going to try to steal it. One, two, three. Oh, my God. That was close. 2.9999999999999. This matchup is off the chain. DJ Moore and King Matt. Luckily, I'm happy that they haven't interfered. I'm more just content to watch on. DJ Moore showing his support. King Matt, I think, just down here to try to get in the head of Ivanovic. A third impaler DDT by the champ. Wasting no time as he sizes up the Good Vibes kid. Looking to flip the switch. Cracking that jaw. Going for a second rolling cutter. Elijah Stewart says, no way, my friend. Up over the shoulders. Family matters. Vintage Elijah Stewart. He rarely pulls that move out. Only in dire situations. One, two, no, just a two count. Good God. Elijah Stewart trying to stay in the driver's seat as he scales to the top rope. This is where he feels most comfortable. But again, that high risk offense comes back to bite him. Nikola Ivanovich relentlessly stomping down to the back of Stewart. Now sizing him up, going to give it another go. Crack to the jaw. No, again countered by the Good Vibes kid. Dear Lord. What does Nicola got to do to hit that move? Downward spiral. He did the swinging jawbreaker. Up top, Elijah Stewart pandering to his Stewie's live here. For Thursday Night Genesis from Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Lifting the light heavyweight champion up to his feet. Irish Whip going to put the Serbian in the corner. What is he going for here? On the ropes. Discus forearm smash. Good God. One, two, three. No, are you kidding me? How is that not a three? My goodness. I'm pretty sure I caught, I caught a couple of freaking Nicola's teeth over here, my friends. 
I don't know how he kicked out of that. The champ showing his resiliency tonight. As Elijah springboard offense inbound. Phenomenal forearm. Good God, this match is off the chain. Elijah Stewart again trying to get some momentum from the, the Stewies in attendance here tonight. Nikolai Ivanovic and La La Land, his jaws hanging on by a freaking a little, just a little bit. But the champ not giving up. Look at that beautiful bridge. Another shout out to Bob Luger. With the Luger Plex, but only a two count. Lifts him up to his feet. Oh, and there's that big boot. Nikola rarely hits that. It's usually countered. And Elijah Stewart just like that. A snap of the finger. The momentum has swung back into the favor of the Serbian. DJ Moore cringing at the sight of his brother getting pummeled on here. And now Nikola going to give it a fourth go. This time he's going to get it. Rolling cutter plant. Elijah face first. But he took himself out. Can he throw his arm over? What a match. Could this be it? One, two, three. And Nikola Ivanovic gets the win after an amazing match. It just seems that the Serbian is the kryptonite to the good vibes kid. What a match and what a finish. I love those, those, uh, those pins. What a win for Nikola Ivanovic. I don't even know if Nikola knew where he was, to be completely honest. He just threw his arm over. He was just like, ugh. Just instant kicking in. What a showing by the Good Vibes Kid and despite DJ Moore and King Matt being ringside trying to get in his head. It worked to no avail. Look at that. Nikola just instinct as he throws his arm over the chest of Elijah Stewart. Man, I don't know how Nikola kicked out of that discus forearm smash, man. That thing was nasty. Nicola on a whole nother level. But it seems as though Nikola Ivanovic has a lot of gentlemen suitors coming, nipping at his heels. That's the price you pay when you are on top. And up next, my friends, cool main event. Oh, no, first, I forgot we're going to hear from Bryce Hurt tonight. I forgot about this. Bryce Hurt uh, requesting some more screen time as he has got something on his mind. Last week, he came down to the ring and pretty much shit on the audience, turned on them, said he doesn't need them anymore. He's going to drop them in order to rise up through the rankings and get to the top where he rightfully deserves to be. Going to hear what he has to say now tonight. Coming up next, the co-main event will be triple threat action. Salvi, Jeremy Blake, Pierre Thompson to see who will join Jay Davis and Randy Borton inside of the Elimination Chamber next Sunday at Dark Carnival. The international title on the line. Then it'll be the main event. Kaiva battling Bob Luger in a non-title match. Big opportunity for the Latvian. And of course, Bob Luger going to cook his reign off with a win. Nicola did win, Tom. Indeed, he did, my friend. Indeed, he did. Gumble's really salty because he was one of the people who thought that Nicola just dragged a light heavyweight title down and made it completely irrelevant. And now Nicola has been doing really good. So Gumble's Gumble's a little bit miffed. Gumble's not too happy. All right, let's hear what Bryce Hurt has got to say, my friends. Oh, my God. That scared the shit out of me, actually. That little jump scare there. By, oh, my God. He is pissed. He's stomping. He's like an angry teenager right now. How old is Bryce Hurt? He actually scared the shit out of me when he fucking 
flinched out the camera. My God. I just got punked out. Let's hear what this dirty heel Bryce Hurd has got to say, my friends. You all know who I am, so let's skip the pleasantries and get down to business. When I get in this ring, people get hurt. It's what I do, and I'm damn proud of it. But things around here have been changing, and I don't like it. Oh, Bryce Hurst, not a fan of change. I'm not either, to be honest. Lately, I've been confused by a certain CMB superstar that thinks he's just as good, me, good as me, which is laughable at best. Still, I'm not one to shy away from putting someone in their place to remind them of who is king of the playground and who belongs on the monkey bar. Is that racist? Who is Bryce Hurt talking about here? He's miffed. Paging Alex Taylor. Alex Taylor, you left some unfinished business here in the ring. And these two actually went head-to-head -head in a tag team match a couple of weeks ago on an episode of Reality Wrestling. And Alex Taylor pinned Bryce Hurt. And Bryce Hurt apparently a little bit salty about that. Not happy calling out the newcomer. Let's see if Alex Taylor responds to the call. He's going to walk around that wall. Yes, he is. Here he comes. Alex Taylor responding to the beckoning. Let's see what Alex Taylor has to say about all this ish, all this trash Bryce be talking. CMB Universe, I know most of you tuned out listening to this guy drone on and on and on, so go ahead. Take out your phones, text your friends, post on social media, do what you have to do to spread the word. Let them know there's a reason to start paying attention again because your boy is in the building. Yeah, boy. You can run your mouth all you want, but the fact of the matter is the CMB Universe has no interest in what you have to say. Before you so rudely interrupted me, I was telling my fans that to be in my presence is to be in the presence of greatness. Every time I step in this ring, I make history, and tonight will be no difference. I am CMV. Damn, we got some, uh, got some ha harsh trash talk going on between these two here. Did you eat dinner? You sound cranky. I mean, I could go get you an apple or something if you want, but... Please, save the self-important horse crap for another night. Go eat, rest up, and try this again next week. Damn, Alex Taylor just doesn't seem to, uh, doesn't seem to want any of this. No, he can't seem to be bothered with, with what Bryce Hurt has to say here, that the fans chanting, we're not worthy. <clears throat> what makes you think you deserve to be out here sharing the same air that I breathe? You can't seriously believe that you're... At or even near my level, can you? I should beat the hell out of you for your arrogance alone. Mm, Bryce Hurt threatening that, threatening that violence here, my friends. You think you're bigger than me? You think you're better than me? You can think it all you want, but until you step up and prove it, it doesn't mean a thing. So what do you say? You're going to keep thinking you're a big shot or you're going to prove who you are? Oh, Alex Taylor calling out Bryce Hurt. He says, you want some? Come get some. There's no reason to be hasty about things. I have no problem taking you on in a match, but mm, not tonight. You see, I'm not a thug that just jumps into battle at the drop of a hat. I need the proper amount of time to physically and mentally prepare for battle. That's why I'll always be better than you. And there's Bryce Hurt, the slimy little snake. Saying, yeah, not tonight, though. You know what you are? You're a psychophant. You know what that word means? It means you're full of it. A suck-up, a politician... A hack. Oh, my goodness. This disrespect. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and fight me. Getting hit by a pipsqueak like you is like getting bit by a mosquito. Just an annoying itch. Actually, with how soft you are, your punches would probably give me a nice massage. Now that I think about it, maybe we can have a match. Nah. Damn. This savagery. I hope these idiots in the audience tonight see you from the false idol that you are. You won't fight me, and that ain't no sign of a hero. From now on, I demand to be respected as the hero that I am. Expect one thing. I wouldn't save anyone in this arena if they were on their last breath. So peace out, losers. Damn. Bryce Hurt won that promo by a landslide there, my friends.
So Alex Taylor challenging Bryce Hurt to a match, but Bryce saying, eh, not so much. Maybe next time. Maybe when I'm good and ready. Maybe when I'm feeling up to it. And then just disrespecting the fans. All right, keep, keep the trash talk between another. You don't have to turn on the CMB universe. We'll pay their hard-earned money to see you compete, not wuss out. Come on, Bryce. Here we go, guys. Back to the action. Triple Threats is the name of the game. As we're going to see who will be the third man joining the mix inside of the Elimination Chamber next Sunday at Dark Carnival. We saw Jay Davis qualify earlier tonight by putting down Kenji Murakami in a pretty intense back-and-forth fast-paced matchup, joining the Moomoo Man Randy Borton. Now we're going to see three men who were allies at Point Break in that six-man tag team match. They took down Rise together. But now only one of them can enter the fray, enter the Demon's Domain for a chance to become champion. We're going to have to get through one another to get there. Salvi, Jeremy Blake, and Pierre Thompson all hungry for this opportunity. The most experienced of these three, of course, you got to say Jeremy Blake, the first ever Anarchy Champion and a former international champion, one of the men that Borton is currently tied with for most title defenses. And Salvi, of course, new to the show this season. Been very impressive in that ring, however. Fell out in the Light Heavyweight Championship Tournament, Pierre Thompson, the Lakers lover indeed, prime time since coming to Genesis was doing very, very well. He beat uh, Randy Borton, beat Bob Luger, gave Borton his only real loss this season, the only man to pin the Moon Man this season. I think that alone should be enough to get him inside of the, the chamber, to be completely honest. But Dave Turner wants to see just how much these men want it. And here's a tweet from Primetime. He says, we went to battle once before. Now it is my chance. Thanks for the help. But now, get out of my way. And Pierre Thompson's laying it out like it is. There's only room for one of them. It'd be nice if all three of them go together into the chamber, but the world is not a fair place. Tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, on the fifth edition of Reality Wrestling, we'll see who takes the fourth spot inside the chamber. Salim Ismail and John Reed will duke it out in the final two qualifying matches next week on Thursday Night Genesis. We'll see Kaiva battle Zach Cage and Andrew Briggs battle Ryan Kent. Kaiva with a big opportunity tonight, though, in the main event up next as he takes on the brand spanking new Alpha World Champion, Bob Luger. Here comes the masked man of mayhem, Salvi, who has been very vocal this season about how he deserves every single championship opportunity. He wants the light heavyweight title. He wants the international title. He wants the alpha world title. He'll take the tag titles all by himself. He doesn't care. He just wants that gold, baby. And tonight is his opportunity. This is someone I think would feel at home inside of the elimination chamber. A chance to inflict some serious pain on his opponent. Salvi actually coming to the rescue of Jeremy Blake and Pierre Thompson as they were being beat down on by Rise. And speaking of Rise, a tweet here says, these guys got lucky pulling a fast one over us and they get the opportunity to qualify for the chamber. That's the type of injustice that we're set to change here. And CMV, so Sean Silva and the rest of Rise not happy that they were shafted for this opportunity in favor of these three men. Here comes Jeremy Blake. The Australian Daredevil. The very first ever CMB Anarchy Champion, a former international champion. Like I said, he is one of the four men tied with Borton for most title defenses. He originally had the longest reign as champion way back when in season two. Look at, listen to the fan train. He's getting one hell of a pop. They're going crazy for him. And here's a tweet from Jay Davis, who, as we said, already qualified earlier tonight, defeating Kenji Murakami. He says, at Pierre Thompson, you keep on dreaming, kid. Moving out of your way is like a spider moving out of an ant's way. Damn. Jay Davis with that savagery. 
And last but not least, the Lakers lover prime time himself, Pierre Thompson. Ladies and gentlemen, the only man to pin Randy Borton this season. Can he get past these two though? Can he make it to the chamber? And can he pin Borton again to get his first taste of CMV gold? And before Pierre came out here, he let out that one last quick teat. Quick teat. He, he whipped out his tit real quick and he just said, hey, check this out. Now that real quick final tweet towards Jay Davis, he says, didn't I beat you already? Damn. Shutting that shit down from coast to coast. Jay Davis, though, surely watching this closely. As I said earlier tonight, Randy Borton is who will be joining him inside the Demon's Domain. Randy Borton with the most experience of anyone stepping inside that chamber, no matter who wins the qualifying matches. Borton's been in two. The only men who could possibly qualify who have also tasted the harsh steel of the Elimination Chamber would be Zach Cage and Ryan Kent. And this man who was pretty much kicked on over here to Genesis after Xander Slate beat him in that loser leaves fusion match at CyberSlam. And Pierre Thompson has made the most of it. Could tonight be his night to shine above the rest? Here we go. Salvi, Jeremy Blake, Pierre Thompson. Only one of them can make it inside the chamber and get a crack at the international title. Triple threat rules apply. His first man to gain pinfall or submission that will go to Dark Carnival next Sunday. No count outs, no disqualifications. Look at Pierre Thompson is doing a little bit of a shadow boxing here as Salvi takes care of Jamie Blake. Pierre Thompson waiting in the wings. Counters though to Salvi with a DDT. And here's a tweet from Sam Valentine of Monday Night Fusion. He says, who are these guys again? Is this NXT? Damn. Damn. Sam Valentine set for his own taste of championship uh, gold. Gets a shot at it, at least. Four weeks' time at Regicide, it's been announced. Sam Valentine, Bannon, Chris Andrews. Triple threat match, just like this one here. For that Anarchy Championship. And we'll see Sam Valentine and Bannon at Dark Carnival actually team together. An unholy alliance, if you will, as they'll battle Chris Andrews and a partner of his choosing. Big boot there by Pierre Thompson. Salvi taken out of the fray as he drops down to the outside. Primetime very rarely... Goes for a high-risk maneuver like he is right now. Beckoning the Australian Daredevil to rise to his feet. Oh, catches him mid-air with a power slam. That was beautiful. I love that reversal. Oh, now look at this. Got that like wrist clutch Northern Lights suplex. I don't really know what to call that. Pierre Thompson like, what's going on? What's hanging? You guys, you guys just beat the hell of each other. I'll just stay here. That's always a good strategy in multi-man matches just to chill out. Read promos, Echo. Come on, God. Topher told you to read that promo, too, during Fusion. You're so bad, Echo. You're such shit. Back suplex there by Sal. What up, Topher? Just speak of the devil just as we bring him up. Jeremy Blake is trying to roll out of the ring. He's having a very hard time, though. He's going to get back to his feet now. Belly to belly. Overhead pair. Jesus Christ, Thompson just... Wrecking shop every which way. Oh, now a beast bite. Wrenching back on the jaw. I mean, I responded to it, Echo. Come on. Salvi takes some time to taunt the uh, audience here. Oh, single knee right to the spine. Back suplex primetime counters out of it. I'm sure. I'm, I don't know exactly. But Pierre Thompson looks like he's probably 300 pounds or more. Jeremy Blake undoubtedly the lightest man in this match. The quickest and the most agile. Salvi just a downright brawler. Neckbreaker off the pullback attack there. Going for the arm. A couple of elbows. Raining down hell to the chest. The masked man of mayhem trying to get himself back to his feet using the ring apron. First man to gain pin for submission will join Jay Davis and Randy Borton inside of the Elimination Chamber next Sunday at Dark Carnival. Three others will qualify over this next couple of, next couple of weeks. See Salim Ismail or John Reed qualify tomorrow in Reality Wrestling. Drops down behind. Back suplex by Thompson as Jeremy Blake rolls out of the ring. Oh, the highlight, ladies and gentlemen, is the play of the day. We'll call that the play of the day. I'm pretty sure the other one's the highlight. Oh, but Jeremy Blake back in the ring just in time to make the save. I'd say you have a very good chance, TJ. 
I'm going to get a lot, of, a lot of spots opening up soon, so get them as quickly as I can. Don't know what Pierre Thompson was going for up against those ropes there. He's kicks to the chest. Now they're going to fuck it up just as Blake was going for the final kick to the back of the head. Oh, and then a flapjack. And there goes Salvi again. Every time Salvi gets back in, it's just fucking Jamie Blake or Pierre Thompson just slap and say, nope, the hell out of here. Blake beckoning the Lakers lover to his feet. Is the Australian dead? I'm going to fly high. Going for a DDT, I believe. I guess we're never going to know. Oh, the highlight. The highlight. Salvi still down. One. Two! No, just a two count. What a pristine opportunity that was. And now Salvi gonna try to take the pin. One! Just a one count that time. On oh, here comes Pierre trying to come up from behind. Thompson wants to join the fray again. He's having a little bit of trouble. Sal oh, <laughs> That's a oh and the days to Blake Salvi to qualify. One, two, three. Oh, no. So close, dear God. Salvi could taste that international title shot. That was a close call right there. And Jeremy Blake is just taking everybody's sigs and fins in this match. He needs to get himself back into this one. Stalls that suplex is the masked man of mayhem. Cracks of the jaw, spins around, rushing leg sweep. And there goes Blake out of the fray. Pierre back in the ring trying to come up from behind. Salvi says, no way, I don't like it from behind. Going for a sit-out sidewalk slam, perhaps. Thompson says, I don't want none of that. No, thank you! Superman punch from primetime. One, two, just a two count. Triple threat matchup here. These three men were teammates at Point Break opponents tonight. Only one of them can go to the Elimination Chamber, a chance to become international champion. Nice clothesline there, that rebounding Lariat. Up to his feet he goes, tripped up. Not even a one count there for Pierre Thompson. Salvi! Salvi! Looking for the tombstone pile driver. Driving Pierre right down onto his noggin. Blake is still down. One, two... No, oh, Pierre Thompson kicking out on his own regard. That was very close. Blake wouldn't have made it in time. I hope Jam now Jamie gonna try to capitalize. One, two, just a two count, no more. This has been a hellacious triple threat match thus far. These three men not holding back anything. You heard it from Pierre Thompson himself via that tweet before the match started. You know, you guys helped me out at Point Break. I appreciate that, but now it's time for you to get out of my way. A couple of elbows raining down to the chest. Salvi just, I don't know what he's looking for right now. It's going to cost him, maybe not. Jamie Blake shooting for a scoop slam. Salvi drops him with a reverse DDT. And now big opportunity for the masked man in mayhem. Going to go for a pin. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be it, though. One... Two, just a two count. Surprised no weapon has been introduced, to be honest, especially with someone like Salvi in there who just loves destruction, loves hurting his opponents. Look at that big one just stomp down to the chest. Like it ain't no thing. Trying to put a hole through him. Now Thompson tries for a pin. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Every chance they get, every single opening they take. Not even a two count there, though. Here comes Jeremy back into the fray. Pierre Thompson with the leg scissors. Going to try to go for some elbows. Salvi slipping through, though. Slipping through them fucking baby oiled up thighs. Oh, and there's the play of the day again from Pierre Thompson. Charges Blake. Blake gonna try to steal it. Dear God, what's going on? Ref, what are you doing? Ref, ref, ref. One, two. Oh, just a two count. Oh, what happened right there? Almost got that Xander Slate like flashback. Though it wouldn't have been 38 seconds, right, Sundan? Taking overhead, Salvi just chilling in the corner like an absolute thug. Looking cool as hell, backflipping out of that super attempt. Oh my god, that was beautiful. That was a front kick to the face. And then a, a big boot to the back of Salvi's head. That ended a voluntary teamwork there from Jeremy Blake and Pierre Thompson. That was awesome. Salvi is just out right now. 
Blake gonna try to capitalize, just a two count. This triple threat match is off the chain right now. Blake with a couple of elbows, the noggin, busting Pierre wide open. Gonna mix with that baby oil. One, two, here comes Salvi back into the ring just in time to see Pierre kick out of that one. Russian leg sweep from the Australian Daredevil. Has eyes to finish as Pierre Thompson is just, I don't know, he's just sleeping on his ass right now. He's just out cold. And Salvi, what's he going to try for here? Putting Blake on the middle rope. Oh, just choking him out. No disqualifications, remember. Pierre Thompson sizing up. Blake doesn't see. Salvi come from behind. End of days. Into the pin. Salvi going to Dark Carnival. One. Two, no, Pierre Thompson able to kick out of the very last millisecond. Salvi's got the opening. Blake is still down. Oh, but he foiled it. <laughs> Pierre's going to try right away off that sweep for a pin. Oh, with just a two count. Oh, another Superman punch from the Lakers lover. Into the pin as soon as Jeremy got into the ring. Oh, still only a two count, dear God. No, that is the main event, Topher. Still to come up next, Kaiva battles the new Alpha World Champion to work at the Titan, the Cardio Maniac. Bob Luger, a match I'm very much looking forward to. Pierre Thompson caught between a rock and a hard place right now. Jeremy and Salvi kind of surrounded him. Sit out, sidewalk slam. Pierre Thompson taken out momentarily. And Salvi realizes that this is his chance. This is his moment. I'm gonna try for the pin. One, two. No, still only a two count. Blake showing that heart. The CMB veteran not going down without a fight, that's for sure. And Blake, Jeremy Blake, power bomb into the pin. To steal it. One, two, into the Boston Crab. Will Salvi tap Pierre? What are you doing? Pierre! Salvi taps! Salvi taps, and Jeremy Blake qualifies for the elimination chamber. Pierre was just staring at him. Jeremy Blake with a chance to become international champion once again wins this triple threat match, tapping out Salvi. Pierre Thompson just watching on. Oh my God. That match though, Jeremy Blake earned it. He got his ass whooped that entire thing. Dear God. <laughs> he got molly -wop. He took like everyone's fin and sig. Pierre was like, fuck it. Pierre was like, nah. You can have it. You go ahead. Jeremy Blake takes the third spot inside of the Elimination Chamber next Sunday with a chance to become international champion once again. Stop Randy Borton from breaking his own record. Jeremy Blake, Jay Davis, Randy Borton is the current lineup. We'll see if Salim Ismail or John Reed will join them tomorrow on Reality Wrestling. Next week, Kaiva and Zach Cage go at it. Andrew Briggs and Ryan Kent go at it for the final two spots. And here was the finish. Not able to get the win off this power bomb. Salvi kicked out, but kicked out right up into a Boston Crab. And Pierre came in and just watched. He just watched as Salvi tapped out. He could have broken it up so easily. Pierre was just like, nah. Nah. You take it, fam. You deserve it. And Jeremy Blake, the Australian daredevil. And here's a tweet from Jay Davis going to rub it in. Didn't you love that contenders match? Ha ha ha. Oh, Pierre. Better luck next time, boy. And now, my friends, it is a main event time. We are going to see the new CMV Alpha World Champion in action. The work ethic titan, 
the cardio maniac, the man who got revenge for his father, for Tim LaVey, for himself inside the hell in a cell at point breakout match of the night as he put down Furious Frank to win that title. Now he looks to kick off his reign with a bang as Bison waits atop the mountain at Regicide. With the two will go one on one. Bob Lear called out Furious Frank. He said, Let's get the rematch over with tonight, man. I'm hyped up. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Let's finish it once and for all. But Frank blew him off. He said, I'm going to let Bison tear you to shreds, and then I'm going to come back and claim what is rightfully mine. So Bob Luger instead going to have the Latvian Kaiva thrown his way. Certainly should not take Kaiva. I'm sure he does not. As a walk in the park, Kaiva was, what did he go? I think, what was it, eight? Seven or eight, and you know, the start of his career. Been on a little bit of a decline lately. Took a loss to Randy Borton. That kicked off a chain. He lost his uh, he lost his uh, light heavyweight championship tournament match. He lost to Dimitri. He lost that over-the-top rope battle royal point break. An opportunity to bounce back tonight, though. And bounce back in a big way if you can put down the champion. And a tweet from Paul Heyman, guys, says Bison is watching. And I'm sure he most definitely is. Bison. For the first time in his career, will get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for a major championship. He's a season one veteran. Dave Turner said it himself. It's a crime that Bison has not held a major championship. But in four weeks' time at Regicide, he has a chance to do just that. But he's got to get through that man, Bob Luger. It'll be the first time ever that those two will go head-to-head. -head. And Bison certainly uh, showed Luger a little taste of what's to come last week. Before point break, that massive brawl that broke out, Bob Luger and Bison actually worked together to dispatch of uh, Furious Frank and Ryan Kenton. Just it was looking like the show was about to go off the air. Bison flooring Luger with a massive spear. I, I think that watching your opponent, uh, your opponent, get yeah, opponent, is training. You're, you're scoping out your opponent, seeing what he's all about, learning how he moves in that ring. Like I said, it'll be the first time ever they go one-on-one, -on -one and Bison's not stupid. He might not talk, but he's not stupid. Bison's a smart man. He's not going in there you know, with his eyes shut. <clears throat> he's not going in there blind. <clears throat> of course, he defeated Ryan Kent at point break, become number one contender. And here is a tweet, my friends, from Pierre Thompson towards Jay Davis. He says, if you were watching, I wasn't the one who tapped out. You better think you're lucky stars that I didn't win. We got, a little, we got some tension building up between Pierre Thompson and Jay Davis here. He's got four losses, Gumbel. He lost to Borton. He lost to uh, Salim. He lost to Dimitri, and then he lost the Battle Royal. So I think he's seven and four is his record right now. Not a bad record, but he's got to get back to his winning ways. And like I said, a victory over this man, the cardio maniac, the work ethic titan, your CMB Alpha World Champion, Bob Luger, is ready for action, my friends. Wearing that belt proudly. Carrying on his lineage, his father, Lex, WCW World Champion. Carrying on the lineage of Tim LaFave. In his honor, he holds that belt. And he is not looking to let it go. Not to Furious Frank, not to Bison. Here we go. Well, I, I don't think you've updated the records in a while then, Hellish, because I know for a fact he's lost four matches. Nonetheless, here we go. Let's see. If, uh, what matters is if he wins or loses tonight. It's all about the future, not the past. And right out of the gate, not, not a great way to start for Kaiva's. He's taking down with that Rainbow Star. Big opportunity for Kaiva, but a must-win situation for Luger to kick off his reign with a win. Build up that momentum as he heads into Regicide. Couple of pushes. Shades of Sam Valentine there. That's a, that's a signature move often used by the Dream. And we know how much those two hate each other constantly at one another's throats on Twitter. And a tweet from Salvi. He says, you might not have tapped out, but you were pretty goddamn okay with losing. Someone like that doesn't deserve to be here. And Salvi, former ally with Pierre Thompson, now showing that fire towards Pierre. I don't blame him. Pierre could have broken that up, could have kept the match going, but I don't know what got into him. He just... Maybe he was a little bit drowsy. He was busted wide open. Maybe he had a concussion. Who knows? But Jeremy Blake is going to Dark Carnival. Main event of Thursday Night Genesis Edition number 71 here. 
Next Sunday will be Dark Carnival. The Elimination Chamber returns for the 13th time in CMB's history. Over the shoulders there with the fireman's carry. Front head locked by the work ethic Titan. Furious Frank, of course, getting the win over Andrew Briggs earlier tonight. That's another reason why Luger can't lose tonight. With Furious Frank getting the win, it just wouldn't look good for him. And Bob Luger now represents. He's the face of Genesis. He's, he's, he's one of the faces of CMB as a whole. Nate, if you're a, a member of communityuniverse.4motion.com, you saw that CMB.com exclusive of him training some of the up-and-comers. He was in the CMB Performance Center drilling some of the uh, newest signees to the Genesis brand, many of whom will debut on tonight's live event, Arrow and the great Akuma. And again, paying homage to his rival, Valentine. And here's a tweet from the Dream, just as I say so. Those weren't real push-ups. You must break the plane at a 90-degree angle and then fully extend and lock your elbows. What is this, amateur hour? Damn, forearm smash, staggers Kaiva. Bob Luger from behind, back suplex, and a kip up. Showing off that athleticism. He ain't just a brawler, he ain't a powerhouse. Very well-rounded, a great wrestler, an amazing technician. Back elbow from Kaiva there, keeping himself alive. A tweet from Primetime Pierre responds to Salvi. He says, I expected you to have the will to get out of that hold. Excuse me for thinking you had the guts to continue the fight. Damn. Pierre with that savagery right there. Pierre beefing with everyone tonight. He's taking on as they come. Shooting in for a Coney Allen Cyclone. It was looking like there. Kaiva shutting him down, though. Now pump panel toss throws him into the corner. <laughs> oh, kick to the gut. Flops Luger over onto his stomach. And Kaiva, the Latvian, not smart taunting right now. What an opportunity he has. Stupid moron. Oh my god! <laughs> German suplex off the second turnbuckle. Kaiba, you fool, you dingus, you wingnut, you spazitron. Why would you taunt there? Now grabbing that shoulder. Slams it right into the canvas. Luger looking to take advantage. Kaiba got cocky, but big counter there, reversing the Coney Island Cyclone again. And now Kaiba! Full Nelson slam puts him down flush. And his outlaw stops, hammering away at the chest of the Alpha World Champion. Another stomp being brought down. Another stomp out of the arm flops Luger onto his stomach. Luger battling back to his feet. Elbow to the midsection, close to the distance, taking overhead with the fireman's carry. <laughs> Luger with the fireman's carry of his own tip for tap back and forth. They go, Mori. What is this, a reversal vest or something? What is it, 1999 back suplex by Luger. Going for them legs. Lift up, power bomb. That strength. How much can how much can Sam Valentine deadlift, though, Echo? I mean, look at that. Kaiba's got to be, what, 250? Oh, and shades of his pop Lex. Torture rack position. Going to spin him out to the neck breaker. Could this be the end for Kaiva? One, two. No, only a two count. The newcomer, the young blood, staying alive for now as he lures Luger in. Arm drag takes him overhead. Kaiva close the distance. I'm going to pull off that major upset. European uppercut puts him back. Kick to the midsection. European uppercut of his own as now Luger sizes him up. Luger looking to close the deal. Luger landing middle of the ring straight into the pin. One, two. No, just a two count. That's a tweet from Salvi. He says, your first mistake was relying on someone other than yourself. Your second mistake was attacking me directly. You name the place and the time, scrub. Let's show the universe you've already peaked and are now on your way out. Damn. Obviously targeted towards Pierre Thompson. Hey, maybe get another match added to the Dark Carnival card. These two are at each other's throats right now. Furious. As Bob, look at that leg drop. Kaiva kicking out of the Luger landing. Showing his resiliency, but Luger remaining in the driver's seat. As he's just all over the Latvian. Going to try for the pin. Middle of the ring. Shoots the half. One. Two. Just a two count. Goes for a drop kick. Kaiva moving out of the way. 
And Kaiva! Oh, shooting for that landslide, maybe. Luger saw it coming just as Bison is studying him right now. I'm sure Luger studied Kaiva. As we get that final cut, shades of the legendary hate. And a tweet from the bloody brick, Chris Andrews. He says, Bannon, Valentine, Dark Carnival, revenge is coming for you, little bitches. But wait a minute, Luger with the Coney Island Cyclone. Paying homage to Tim LaFave. One, two, three, and Bob Luger with the win. And to continue the Bloody Brits tweet, he says, Revenge is coming for you, little bitches, but I won't be alone. I have a very special tag team partner, and he's someone I call a drinking buddy. He can drink, but more importantly, he can beat people up. Revenge is coming in twos. As the end of this match comes our way, Bob Luger paying homage to the fallen Tim LaFave with the Coney Island Cyclone, but put down Kaiva, very game Kaiva. Certainly was not a walk in the park for Luger. Here's the finish. Bob Luger sending a message to Furious Frank, sending a message to Bison, sending a message to everyone else. Letting them know why he is the Alpha World Champion. Wait a minute! Bison! The Barbarian! The number one contender! Attacking Bob Luger after the match! Irish Whip puts him out on the ring apron. Gonna bring him back in with a belly to belly. Bison wasn't content to just watch. He wants to come down here and send a very clear message to the man who will challenge for the Alpha World Championship in four weeks' time at Regicide. Luger's laid out. Bison brings him to his feet. Matter of time, but Luger counters at the last second, save himself as Kaiva just gingerly walks off. He's done. Kick to the midsection, front head locked by the work ethic titan. He's not going down without a fight. He ain't no pushover, he's the champ for a reason. Neckbreaker and Bison might regret doing something like this. Maybe he should have just stayed back and watched. As Luger with an Irish hook, gonna put him in the corner. Bison counters out of it though. Gut wrench power bomb to the work ethic titan, but Bison's not done. Relentlessly stomping on the knee of the cardio maniac goes for a jab these two brawling duking it out in the ring here oh bison another one another one and another one the referee calling for backup luger is laid out after that barrage of power bombs and genesis will end with the sight of bison the barbarian standing tall over Bob Luger. Bison was not content to just watch. He wanted to let Luger know what was coming his way. <laughs> All right, who's who's on? Who wants to join this party? Who wants to hop on this commentary? Excuse me. Excuse. <clears throat> Batman, were you here when I said John Michael's joining CMB? I've been talking to him. Big Johnny's coming back. <clears throat> What's up, fag voice? I hope you die. You're gonna get dick, probably. Should I invite Alvius? Let's see if Alvius. Let's see if Ziegler joins. Get What'd you say? Him. Wait, how is he still fucking <laughs> suspended? <laughs> The fuck? Ziegler's he's still dead. Suspended. He's dead forever. <laughs> he's gone, man. Let's get over he's still it. Still suspended. Let's see if John Michael and Billy, joins. And Billy didn't get fucked. Also, that was John Michael. I was like, oh shit. Echo, I don't see you on, bitch boy. What up, Trouble? Big Trub. Wait, guys, a tweet from Sam Valentine. He says, "Can you even count to two, kid? Drink." 
I put nothing in this body toxic. Everything is homegrown and all natural. That's why I know I single-handedly I can beat toxic. you and your mystery partner. Obviously targeted towards uh, the Brit there. He puts nothing in his body toxic, right? <laughs> all natural. He's a vegan. Or could you say I put nothing toxic in my body? <laughs> I mean, I, that's not that's the, what the tweet says. Right? I just read the yeah, tweet, my what, friend. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't fucking. Got here a cup of haters. Got right here a cup of haters. Cup of haters. A cup of haters. Couple taters. How does it feel that I watch Triple X at my house? On a, uh, on a, uh, the let's old just one say now, a spit, no, uh, the new one. No, Wasn't I didn't watch it, but my fucking Amazon boss watched stick. it in his house. I said, how the fuck did you watch it at your house? He said, Amazon Fire Stick. I said, still, yeah. still in the fucking theaters. He said he he has someone that fucking breaks that shit. Like, what yeah, the fuck? Yeah, I got one of those. You're cool, huh? My elite hackers. Like that, does it, like, legit work like that, though? <laughs> like, you just get all the movies that come out in theaters? No, you get Jones. Online, you get like those websites that you can watch movies on. They basically put that on the Fire Stick. I see. Like they put all those websites. Like Project okay. Free TV. Like Put Locker and. Yeah, but you can get in trouble for that. Who's picture? this Put Locker? You fucking fag. I mean, no one's. It's 2017. Like, this motherfucker's stealing movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, they fucking uh, threaten to find me a thousand dollars when I uh, fucking start downloading X Men one day. Like, a few years back, the internet was, like, fucking talking shit to my dad. <laughs> Bloody Brit responds to Sam Valentine's tweet. He says, one, two. There, you wanker. What the fuck, like, like, Should I say it in a very thick American accent? Did you not there, read you mine, wanker. dude? You've been fucking ignoring Luger's tweets all day. Because I don't care about Bob Luger. I'm not a big fan of him. Wow. Apparently, Luger. Luger and fucking Valentine don't have beef no more. Cause you won't fucking read his tweet. <laughs> oh man, I didn't see a tweet from Luger. Nah, dude. Towards Sam. Yeah, it's cause they keep fucking bombing shit. Earlier, I made like twenty tweets. Uh, myself, Batman, and Gumble, Echo, and Trouble are in here too, but they're not talking. Echo's been talking, bro. Shut the fuck up, Batman, you little bitch. Dude, why the fuck is Nikolai not even in rise? <laughs> that sounds like you just said why doesn't Nicola have real eyes that's what I heard I don't know why it doesn't don't ask me probably a childhood accent of some kind <laughs> <laughs> oh there's that great mic again do you guys not have your box checked off yeah I got my box checked off for once Dude, Why don't you check don't this box? ever put Bryce Hurt in one of those shitty ass fucking promos don't again. Don't tell me what to do. Dude, I just did. Well, I'm not listening. I just poked you out, dude. <laughs> now, if it's a pride thing with you, you'll probably fucking do it like four straight weeks. It is a pride thing with me. Who the fuck's the great Akuma and why is Bob Luger training him? <laughs> <laughs> Bob Luger's just a nice guy. He trains <laughs> all the new people. <laughs> That dude looks so goofy. He's, he's setting an example. Can you fucking read out my tweets, please? No, I don't like you. Read his fucking tweets, dude. Why don't you read your own tweet? I would, but it just can't be asked, to be honest. What am I, a tweet dude, tell me this. a commentator? How come uh, on the yeah, card you have the confirmed matches for uh, Regicide, but you don't... Wait, is oh, that yeah, Lance. Or... Um, I got that match wrong. My bad. Hold on. Never mind. I, I might have answered my own question. It's not. Never mind. That was Dark Lance Carnival, before. you fucking pussy. A tweet here from the Sam Valentine. He responds saying, wow. Is Luger still relevant? Wow. Didn't he just get what a potty match fuck? because all he does is cry you backstage and throw tweets, temper tantrums until he gets his way? Champion? More like champion not. Am I right? What the hell, bro? <laughs> Technically, Luger didn't even tweet him. 
So Luca has said you, shit. I told you I didn't see the tweet. Dude, that's fucking stupid. It basically means he values uh, Sam Valentine over the champion. Yeah. It's fucking disgusting. I am actually. a big Dream fan. What are you going to do about it, punk? That's what I thought. Fuck's the guy on the right? Lance Griffin? Oh, never mind. It's. Dick Briggs, or whatever his name is. Triple threat match though. I love that. Alright, can you shut up so I can get the winners, please? <laughs> oh, you touch my ta -la -la. oh, Topher on that winning streak again. <laughs> Double toe. <laughs> Topher. <laughs> Marcus Topher winning so many times. All right, Topher and Noah. Topher and Noah. Making a fatal four way. What time is it? I hate you so much. Dude, now it's a pride thing. Like, you had the idea, but since I said it, you're not going to do it. <laughs> I got it. See, yeah, I missed that Luger tweet again. I saw it there and see what it said. Oh my god. Nah, it doesn't fucking matter now, dude. We're Topher just and tweet Noah. Up on Fusion. Got like 20 seconds. Oh, you touched my tra la la. Mmm, my ding ding dong. Well, Hefe didn't even have a match because Kaden Kenner attacked Anderson Rex. So. <laughs> Noah, 10 seconds. He's not here. <clears throat> All right, uh, Borton, dude. He's again. done. I got it. No, I got it. Fuck Borton. It's on me, Borton. I got you. Borton, <laughs> let me do it. Oh, you Fucked botched. <laughs> you botched. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, that oh. Borton, the travel law, though. God damn it. Bri oh, Borton. I'll never win. Who? Brass art, pussy. Huh? <laughs> Who's that? You know who that is. <laughs> Stop lying. Born, see if I ever <laughs> try to allow your fucking booty hole again. Alright, let's do who the real winner should have been. No, oh, it should have been Topher. again. <laughs> Bet you ain't gonna drop five more bombs. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Every time I get the pliers, I'm fucking everyone. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Echo, you want to come over and hang out? <laughs> yeah, man. What are we doing? We're we gonna play Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, they picked no. the random guy. Pokemon's fucking gay. Not the card game. <laughs> hey, it's I a name that starts with T. Trouble. <laughs> Close enough. Did y'all hear about the Friday the Thirteenth video game? Gumbled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this shit's gonna be. This shit's probably gonna be. I don't know. It seems like it should be I think gangster, it's gonna be but. Ass. I feel like it. Uh, I don't know. Have you seen the. Uh, I've watched a couple games that are similar to it. But they have, like, objectives where you actually have to, like, open up gates and shit together. 
And then if you get seen, then you have to hide and then try to open Isn't the gate. Isn't that like again. Dead by Daylight or something? Or yeah, dead, yeah, dead yeah. Something. something like that, yeah. So I haven't seen this anything like that for the Jason or... game. This is a multiplayer and single player. Give me that assist, baby. So multiplayer is probably just Jason killing everyone. Well, they probably didn't show it all. It's probably some way you can kill Jason or something or win. They, you have Shut to call the police or some shit. No, I bet, some like, shit. yeah, I bet you gotta, like, survive or something. Survive to get to the borders. Which wouldn't make sense there. because, like, uh, there's game modes all the time where there's, like, one fucking strong person and then there's, like, a whole team facing them. And the strong person, like, it's always a noob but plays the, uh, the one person they lose quick as fuck. All right, kicking off this live event, we have one of the men that was trained by Bob Luger himself, Arrow debuting, as he takes on another man who was recently okay, trained by Bob Luger <laughs> and That's George not Hunter. Oliver Queen. <laughs> that was Arrow, like the chocolate. Yeah, you fucking yeah. moron, like a chocolate. Come on, dude. What the? F Maybe never what? Hit That's Arrow? not a chocolate bar, you fucking retard. That's fucking it. We don't live in fucking Venezuela, guy. Right. Yeah, what the fuck? That's not a chocolate like, bar. Wouldn't be, huh? wouldn't be surprised that if people like, in Venezuela sounds like lotion. United Kingdom. That's not a fucking chocolate bar. Arrow? 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 Arrow. Arrow. What? Arrow. No, he's saying arrow. Arrow? Arrow. It's arrow. The guy told me how to pronounce it. It's literally, it's arrow. literally arrow. 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 He told me it's pronounced hey, like bro, aeroplane. Dog. Hey, bro, Arrow. dog. Hey, bro. Arrow. Hey, Arrow. crush me on the street. <laughs> hey, bro. Arrow. Where do you find Arrow, not guys? Arrow. <laughs> Arrow's watched the stream actually for like ever, but just gave me a call now. Dashing literally walks down the streets and oh, asks damn. fucking nine-year-olds if they want to <laughs> join his little fucking community. boy just jumped out the audience. Community. He was waiting in the front row. Quite the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> he was literally sitting in the front row. He just hopped over. <laughs> He's ready for action. He was here all. He was here yesterday, chilling, waiting. Hey, 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 little kid. Hey, you want to join a community? Oh, your your cousin's name is Arrow. A E R O. That's perfect. That's perfect. Bring him on down. Why don't you go join? Bring him on down. Why don't you go join TCW with your traitor brother? Yeah, you don't think? Hey, you don't think I wasn't asked? Huh? You don't think I wasn't asked? Bring Jack Jen over there. for you. I know Echo would never yeah. do that. Yeah. Got, yeah. Yeah. Listen, Cat, dude. I ain't gonna say girl, shit, but I'll tell you what, my big one of my biggest characteristics is loyalty. So you shut your goddamn fucking McDonald's eating ass up. <laughs> Rainbow. I don't. Rainbow. That's how Dashing got me here. I don't know who you are though. Caught but welcome. The the, the rainbow, the rainbow march yeah, back in uh, May. Like that's true. That's a true shirt. That's, I, I, I didn't say I like your shirt though. It wasn't a very nice shirt. I liked your pants. Was that was it. Big that's show shirt. I said, you do like I said, pants I said off, nice ass. Homo. I said nice ass, and I, I fingered your butt a little bit. That's Dude, how what we, the fuck? That's, that's we weird. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> you homo. Oh, okay. Well, you're banned. It's in the rules. Can't let you say that you're banned again. Wait, who's banned? Who am I banning? Dude, you know you do that shit, and I'll blow up the site with Punisher's help. <laughs> well, John Michael's back. Let's go get Punisher. I'm going to message him on Facebook. He's not fucking back, dude. Shut the fuck up. He's coming. And he's, I'm going to put not? him in a steel cage with you again for Luger's title. Quit fucking messaging all wow. these old-ass fucking dudes from WCF. They're not coming back. Actually, John messaged me. I'll have you know. It's an FYI. Apparently, Beast messaged Borton. Oh, yeah. I bet that's not true. I bet you're lying. If that's what you do, you'd lie. Yeah, you question my fucking loyalties, and you got Topher <laughs> over here who's got cause on that show? Fuck out of here, guy. <laughs> Who hurt you? The homosexual. You fucking hurt me. 
It was just a prank, is all, man. Just you're acting experiment. like you're acting like if I go to a show, you're gonna bury my cause, which I know you will. So I would delete them. On the table. I would Chris Benoit. Oh, is that them. All you need they to would do? be they would be Kendall Wolfed. Yeah, I know they would. I know they would. <laughs> but Topher can fucking run freely amongst everyone with his fucking pants down and his thumb up his ass. <laughs> Topher, you just gonna oh, take this? Oh shit. I think we know that a fight on the site. It's been too long. Take up ten pages on a thread. It has been too long. Christ. <laughs> Go start a fight with someone, Batman. Dude, yeah, why, how why about, the fuck would I start about, a fight with somebody? How about <laughs> when I speak truth on a fucking thread, dashing and you erase it? Oh well, shit! I, don't I didn't erase anything of yours recently, so. I no, I just remember the last, honest. the last, the last truth that I dropped on some motherfuckers. You definitely erased it. I don't know what you're talking about. I would never. On That's cop who erases everything. Yeah, he actually Where's does. Where's the mail on the table? It's, it's all there. Like, dash, dashing's okay with people talking shit, but when you, like, actually... When you actually, like, go fucking Martin Luther King on someone, he's like, yeah, that's a little too serious, guys. How do you go, <laughs> a little too how do you much go Martin truth? Luther King on someone? It's a little too much truth when I drop the truth bombs, bro. That's what Martin Luther King is known for, just being a savage. Remember that? Yeah, kind of... exactly. That's what I'm known for. <laughs> Arrow and George Hunter duking it out here to kick off this live event. Arrow. I'm the Martin debut, Luther. I'm the Martin Luther goddamn King of CMV. George Hunter and his diversity. second matchup. He lost his debut a couple weeks back to Kenji Murakami in a pretty close match, and he looks to tap out. Arrow here. Man, I oh, can't wait to see Alex it, Taylor though. Big Trouble. Alex Taylor fan. Yeah. Trouble. Stop killing stop killing everyone's vibe, Echo. Right. I can't wait for AJ Hunter. <laughs> oh Trouble. big Mishinoku driver I'm Hunter, a part of the Hunter of the AJ club. Styles. Yeah. Guess and, George and Hunter big and AJ fan Hunter. Of Triple H. Trouble. <laughs> oh, I've been out of the corner, Hunter. Locked it loaded with a big Superman punch. Trouble. 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 Wait, did you just Trouble. Steal? Okay. Trouble, where to for art thou? Goes for a bicycle kick, does George. Arrow catch him, they'll kick to the midsection. Big time DDT plants him face first. We're also going to see the debut of the great Akuma tonight as he takes on Lance Griffin. Gurry sucking off handicap match battling red nose stranglers. And Al Hefe and Bryce Hurt one on one. What a match that's gonna be, huh, Batman? Shut the fuck up, dude. Trouble. I did not for ask for that match. match to be booked. Squat headlocked by Arrow and a big knee to the face. You won't be here in August. Um, it's like seven months away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and the back of the head. Gonna slam Arrow face Wait, first. Why are you telling this us now? Oh, then again, <laughs> Morton doesn't understand uh, English tonight, apparently. <laughs> what did he say? Why isn't Rise inside of Nicola or something earlier? Green Genesis. Oh, there's that bicycle kick. Hunter gets it this time. Arrow's head oh, nearly knocked shit. clean off. This goes into the pin. One, two. Three. Oh, so close, but no cigar. Hunter's pissed off. He's not too happy. That 2.9999. Size him up for another one, though. God Trouble. damn, this, pulling, this guy pulling a Justin insane, pulling finishes out of his ass right now. Gets it a second time, and that might be one too many for Arrow. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and George Hunter scores his first win in CMV. Not wasting any time. He said, keep, keep, stay the fuck down, bitch. Put him out with that bicycle kick. Two in a row. Dun, 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 dun. But, Borton, how do you feel that he has that Brock Lesnar theme? Okay, Big Nikola fan. <laughs> Wait, but Topher, are you done, though? <laughs> Okay. That's okay. Cop's favorite quote of yours. <clears throat> Not mine, though, Topher. My favorite quote of yours is, I love you, Dasher. 
my favorite one. Yeah, how does that? How does that? How does that fucking feel? Okay. Trouble, not being answered, huh? How okay. deep was that? How I hear say that tweet cut? from the dream. Sam Valentine okay. says, "Hey, Lugie, how does it feel to train a loser? Stinky. If we would have been in my fuck? camp, he would be looking like Bison. But Luger did train Stop both of these men. Stop reading his goddamn tweets, Sam. Luger no, did train Lugie. both of these men. That Lugie, though. Did you just call him a Lugie? <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to fucking reply. Let's to hashtag that. It. Let's hashtag that loogie. <laughs> Let's get that fucking training worldwide, everyone in the uh, in the chat. Hashtag training worldwide. Hashtag uh, loogie. Oh Jesus, am I getting fucking trouble? Yo. Ah, man, I don't even fucking remember what I was gonna say, dude. Hey, uh, can I uh, uh, repost on your uh, promo? Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. You mean respond to it? Oh, Repost shit. on it? What the fuck does that mean? Well, I don't know, because Crazy <laughs> fucking posted something on it, and I, it would really like it to be back to back, but whatever. I'll delete it, and then he'll yell at me oh, and just wow. post it again, so don't worry about it. it. The flow of the fucking promo. It's gonna have the flow. <laughs> Gotta have the flow. <laughs> okay. And then Crazy will go on a tangent, but I'll do it for you, Echo. Bless. <laughs> Up next, we're going to see another man trained by Bob Luger, the great Akuma. Stepping into the ring until battle of Lance now. Griffin. <laughs> Certainly two otter looking, uh, otter looking. Oh, that's weird. Otter. Two odd looking <laughs> men going out of here. Certainly, uh, unique <laughs> in their styles. Like that fucking loses. The fucking dream's going to talk more shit. <laughs> the diss track thread. <laughs> Wait, Echo, should we drop some hot fire on them? <laughs> yeah, look, dude. <laughs> uh, dude. Yeah, look, Luger ain't ready for, for the hot fire, man. Oh, shit, dude. Shut up. <clears throat> dude, you ain't even good. What are you? Dumb. <laughs> what the fuck, Tomcat? I can't wait for Monday Night Fusion next week, guys. It's going to be the greatest one ever. I just want you uh, all to know. Schmitty Get presents ready. Schmitty Night presents Fusion. Monday Night Fusion. Get ready. Poor Paul Devine. Rip Paul Devine. Never forget. Here he comes. The that, great that Akuma. That makes my dick hard, to be honest with you. Another tweet from Sam Valentine says, Everyone who Luger trains shall be forever known as Lugies. Hashtag Lugie. Let's Quit get it fucking trending. reading his tweets. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Sam, Val Sam Valentine pays me to read his tweets. Uh, that's a fucking troll call, Gumble. Wow, Man, fucking Tolfer. sewer. I figured you wanted to be in the main event in the steel cage match. Yeah, let's get a... Hey, let's, uh... Can we get a soft clap for this Lugie right here? I actually like that, so I'm not I'm not trying to diss it. Can we all fat for a just a quick fat for the great Akuma here? That's what it sounded like there. Big Lugies, dude, I love that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know I don't know why I I didn't think about it earlier, but <clears throat> I mean it's not really a bad that... thing though. Sam Valentine's kind of helping, so I guess you're not a heel no more. You're a face. Your the fact that now. Dashing said you're training these guys got me got me thinking. Got the juices flowing. You feel me? Like the juices in your mouth and you spit a fat shit, loogie. Bro. Where's Where's all Sam Valentine's trainees? What are they called? He does. Yo, know, he's like a. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Nah, he doesn't put his talent in anyone else's hands, man. He's he doesn't do what that. What about Rex That's Carter? Fucking... He lent him his clothes. No, he didn't lend anything. Kinda... You yeah, remember? You remember his it. tweet? You remember his tweet? He said, "Hey, maybe next time when you take my clothes, you get that ball sweat out of there first. Bye, Gumble. <laughs> Lance Griffin ready for action coming to this match off of a victory a couple of weeks ago on Reality Wrestling, a tag match he teamed with Alex Taylor to put down Bryce Hurt <clears throat> and Big Duke." And here's Trouble. a tweet from Bob Luger who says, I Yo. have the time to win world titles and train young talent. How about you? Damn. My Where's fucking that world title, title at, pussy. Sam? Where's, that Where's that world title at, Sam? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, not now. Don't get Gumbo back in there. Look at this shit. <laughs> Gumbo, where the fuck did you go, baby? Oh, my God. <laughs> 
Great Akuma starting this match off fast as he brings Lance Griffin down to the canvas, dragging his knee right down to the chest of the face pointed, face pointed, face painted warrior. Now Lance in control, both smaller men here, light heavyweights of the Genesis division win here. Put, push them up the rankings as Nikolai Ivanovich awaits a challenger for Regicide. Stomp down onto the face, goes for one of the back of the head, and moves out of the way. Irish whip. The great Akuma off the ropes. Catch them on the rebound. The spinning back elbow up next. Curry sucking off. Trouble download. The massive Russian. Paul Devine. Going to be battling Red Nose Strangler in a handicap match. You download him and give me a sexy second. Give me. No, but oh, do you have the oh. new, new one? Do you have the new, new one with different <coughs> movesets and everything? Probably not. A response from Sam Valentine. Guy says, time to train losers? Sounds like an accomplishment I don't need on my resume. Damn, what a clothesline by Lance, bringing both men to the outside of the ring. Lance Can you make right me a sexy in. secondary attire? Arm raised and dominance. Can, Griffin in control I'll right probably now. probably won't like it. Okay, there's a difference between I won't like it and <laughs> and, and Mugen's fucking pay-per-view attire. <laughs> 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 Just make Paul Devine purple, I guess. Good enough. Let's make him all purple. Misses that senton attempt. Turns around Akuma with a boot to the jaw. Staggers Lance. Closes in on him. Nice arm drag. Deep one there. Oh, and a kick to the chest. Brings Griffin right back down. Akuma looking to debut with a victory. Oh. What the? <laughs> what? Echo, why that did you say glitched. Sushi X was up for a download? You lied. Yeah, there's the yeah no Sushi X died, man. That was that was fucked up though. I like put my game in so fast to download. I mean, <laughs> what? No, man, my bad. Dark matter by Lance shit. Griffin. I was so salty. <laughs> One, two, just the two count for Griffin. There's no, no, there's no Sushi X, man. My bad. Why the Dude, fuck no, no, is my name? Who the fuck changed my name on the site? Oh, that counter off the pile yes. driver attempt. Yes. Beautiful from Lance. As I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. But I please. just want to... Another those... cannibal sentence. We got a tweet from yes, Bloody please. Brick, guys. He says... Your resume ain't even that long, to be honest. Probably best you don't train losers. Last thing they need is to be even more of a loser. <laughs> I don't even Damn. have to fucking talk shit to him. Andrew with that savagery. Oh, Northern Light Suplex for the Kuma ain't done. Look at that strength from the deadlift of Brain Buster. Absolutely beautiful. Akuma showing off his stuff tonight. Oh, what the fuck that was. But... And Griffin going to try to capitalize on that bot there. The butterflies are... Are twirling for Akuma. It's going to come back to Biden right now as Lance Griffin with that Gord Buster GTS. Looking to finish into the pin. Quan. Dose. Oh, just a dose. Lance Griffin can't believe it. Referee holds up four fingers. I don't think that was a four count, though. As Lance up to the top rope. We're going to take a risk. Leg drop misses. Akuma now just going to stare at him. That was a good eight. Tilt the world. DDT connected nicely. What the hell happened to Brian Novak? Uh, Brian Novak's dead. Or peace, never forget. Somebody just Brian, killed him. Brian Novak was killed alongside Duo Maxwell. Somebody just who him? Somebody made him on CMV. With the hashtag CMV. He was uploaded when the game first came out. He had like overall 115. Somebody I bet cops gonna keep it that high. Yesterday, and the creators. A tweet from Bob Luger. Him. Responds to the dream says I was gonna reply, but I see you've already occupied with bloody Brett Guess you're just gonna have to make good at making friends or winning what? championships. Huh? I don't know Okay, let me <laughs> redo that one. <laughs> let me redo that one. I tweet from Bob Luger says at the dream I was gonna reply, but I see you're already occupied with the bloody Brett Guess you're just not good at making friends or winning championships, huh? Damn, Savage. That's that's uh, Random Hero, by the way. He changed his gamer tag. Trouble. Gotcha. Couple of elbows from Griffin Connect. Yeah, he made him a Kuma here. Bill, that cannonball sent on for a third time in this match. Those ribs have got to be hurting for certain. 
as uh, Lance takes a second to appreciate the fans' <laughs> attendance here tonight. And a response from the Dream says, At Bloody Brit, I can hear you choking through the Twitter. Do you allow Luger and his Lucas to do dick push ups in your mouth? Dick ups. <laughs> What the That's fuck? Savage. That's Doctor savagery. Like one count. That's savagery. You had to leave Dream. the party to call out Tomcat. Gumbel? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sam Valentine's a savage. Oh, and a second time from Lance Griffin. Not looking to put over that young talent with a second dose <clears throat> of the Gord Buster GTS. And let's count it like Topher. Oh, no. Dose three. And Lance Griffin gets the win. Then who the fuck calls Twitter the Twitter, huh? Only Sam Valentine, I guess. Oh, people. What are you tweeting on, Sam, the, Sam, tweeting, on the, tweeting on the Twitter? Sam Valentine on, on his Twitter. computer with his fucking with his fucking eyeglasses and shit. Oh, the Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> These dang kids with their tweets. Lance Griffin with a great victory, though. A little bit of a roll as of late. As he gets hey, out no that one, Randy Borton ass. No one has shovel. for honor. No one wants to get fucking scooped up. I got no, it, but I haven't stopped it. It's trash. Looks clunky as fuck. Man. I feel like Bro, it's just gonna be you're, chivalry. You're fucking it looks better like graphics. Play, it looks like PlayStation 2 graphics. <laughs> like Dark Souls 2. Just exactly get like chivalry, it. Echo. Same thing. To be honest. I don't even know what that is. It literally it's was out better years and years before. For Honor. Gumbasaur, first off, no one from fucking. Some country no one's even heard of is allowed to speak. <laughs> what, oh my god! Country, so. <laughs> Gumbel sewer. That fucking post though. <laughs> Why'd you just call him Gumbel sewer? Roses are red, violets are turquoise, the name's Tom K. My voice. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> oh shit. Fucking Tom you hear that K. One, trouble? out. Here we go. The big Russian, the behemoth, Gutty Sukhanov, made his debut last week, destroying John Bateman so much so that Rip Bateman is no longer here on CMB. Now tonight, he's stacked against two men the Red Nose Strangler, Schizo, and Killjoy. See if he can take them both on, or if the numbers game will You're be too much for him to endure. the handicap concept now. <sighs> There's been two handicap matches this season. Tomcat, repost it for me. Yeah, I want. I just want everyone to know I'm taking a master resiliency class right now. So if anyone's feeling down or needs anything to help boost a master them up, resiliency class. Yeah, man, resiliency. It's that's the best thing you can ever do for yourself because there's a lot of things you can do, man. Put well, things in perspective. Like, like you get one free kick out. No, no, no. Yes. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. You are correct. Thank you. Training how to kick I feel out. Like you, I feel like you were Holy trying shit, to be serious, but you knew you couldn't. <laughs> I was trying to be serious. I was trying to yeah, like, throw, throw my name out there. If people serious. needed help. And then, yeah. I mean, Missouri, Missouri, yeah kick out. Kick out after one. <laughs> it's only a two and a half hour drive. I don't see a, a recent San Valentine, though. Sam, I didn't ask you to download Dashing. Sam Valentine. Dashing, did you get Justin saying? The new Justin saying. Yeah, I hope that is roster picture. Yeah, so yeah, I've sure. I found out the secret be behind Justin saying. I just want y'all to know. After, I know why after Justin you got Sane him. Is, is undefeated. Well, Justin <laughs> saying you're getting his ass whooped if you haven't noticed lately. He's getting oh, destroyed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Paul Devine. That's why... Uh, but Samuel Boone's gonna... just bearing everyone. It's okay. Yeah, Samuel Boone. Jesus, Samuel Boone. Can we? Can we? Uh, yeah. Can we not talk about? Everyone. Can we not talk everyone about some random scrub? <laughs> Samuel Boone versus Sam Valentine from... next week. I got you. The dude didn't even fucking Boone read any promo. He just beat fucking promo. Sam Valentine. <laughs> oh yeah, he did. He's going through everybody. <laughs> going through everybody. <laughs> nah, fucking Smitty's gonna beat his ass. <laughs> Yeah, okay. one. Uh, so Samuel Boone is one of Dashing's car, and he literally created one a of fucking dashing call. one of Dashing car, and he created a fucking he created a double fucking account just so he could download him and pretend it's someone else's. A double account. I hate those double accounts. 
Jesus. Oh, you know, yeah, Master dude. Ogon was here I'm not fucking 16. stuttering, guy. <laughs> you fucking parrot dashing. Would it just be an alternate account? Thing I say? That guy is An big. alternate account? Why is his account? head so tiny? Jesus. Why is his head so tiny? <laughs> dashing impression. I where he's from. <laughs> that was treble. <laughs> that wasn't me. Damn it. Yeah, I know, but I repeated what he Say said. Say like repeat you everything. fucking did the last fucking yeah, five actually, minutes. You actually, the, retard. The, Jesus the theory, Christ. Thank you, the Gumble. The theory, Topher, is... The theory was that it was me, Echo, and Rifted were web. That was the theory from Gent. It wasn't just me. Please understand. Yeah, I'll go ahead and squash... I'll squash that it, that, that it was fucking... <laughs> that it was... <laughs> that it was uh, my brother, because he definitely would have told me. And if he doesn't, then I'll, you know, it's going to be an awkward fucking Thanksgiving. <laughs> you didn't fucking tell me you were a web. <laughs> we can get in a fight over it. Well, he didn't tell me he was ketchup until, uh, well, yeah. Fuck, man. Maybe he is, is that the web. ultimate portrayal? Maybe he is web. <laughs> he didn't tell me he was ketchup until after fucking he fucked it up. So, yeah, that's kind of a little bit of a betrayal. <laughs> oh shit, Tomcat gives no Would you folks. buy that CMV shirt? Web, more like tube. Yeah, I paid good money for it. Tube? More like web. <laughs> Am I right? Rise? More like web. I'm pretty sure Tomcat made that joke. I hate how people keep saying <laughs> Why would you pick Rise that is just like web. Like, like, huh? Because <laughs> they have to they're a couple of clowns. They're goofy and funny. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? They're clowns, they're Wait, Yeah, but they're supposed to be killer clowns. They're supposed to be this what the fuck? This, this killer, not, who I'll says they're supposed to be killer clowns? This makes no sense. Uh, the Red Nose Stranglers? Wait, what the fuck they're yeah, called? Red Nose Stranglers? Stranglers? One's called Killjoy, one's the other's called something else. I don't fucking know. Oh, they're yeah, let me clowns! Let me just, let me just give them the Bible. Like like yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dashing, these are the guys you call when your fucking little boy wants a goddamn birthday party, dude. I don't know why Killjoy. Is Killjoy's uh, Killjoy's glitched. As have you, have you Killjoy's glitched. <coughs> have you never seen Killer Clowns in Space, guy? Huh? Because if you haven't, I recommend the fuck it. Out of me when I was a kid, man. That shit I wasn't is born the most in gangster movie ever. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> old man. <laughs> this is the most Very gangster movie off. ever. If you ever want to watch a great clown his... movie, y'all need to check out Killer Wait. Clowns in Space. What about it? Schizo it trying is. to use his speed as agility right out the, Fuck right out the gate. I jerk off it to it. It has nothing on killer. <laughs> I mean, no movie is going to be as good as Kung Fu Yoga. What's that, what's that alien movie I'm where if you play music, their heads exploded? You know that movie I'm talking what? about? I don't know. The alien the movie? Out of space? I don't know. No, the alien movie where if you Jesus, uh, Mars the attacks. thing to killing them. Yeah, yeah, Mars, yeah. Oh, Jesus, oh, this guy right here. That's one of my favorites. Love that one. We're talking about killer clowns in space. This motherfucker talking about aliens who die when you get when you play fucking fifties music. Choking <laughs> <laughs> him out as Gur is sucking off. As uh, this might be a one on one because I'm pretty sure Killjoy is glitched. So lucky for uh, Gurry. The the just Killjoy looking at him just froze him up. He's too scared to get in now. I know. No, that's. Did Luger trade him too? Yeah, he's a Luger. Going? <laughs> we already saw all of Luger's trainees tonight. Why? Why? Oh no, he did train Gary. He did train Gary. He did train Gary. Oh my god. He did. He was in, he was in, that, he was in that exclusive as well. I think I got the most recent part of mine. Tree of Woe now for Schizo, just dang The only way man. you know if you have the recent Paul Devine is if he doesn't have the uh, pay-per-view attire. It's the same who's attire. Who's fat as... guy Scott Nori? You upload on the 31st? <laughs> what? what? Are what's you the... asking who what's Scott that? Nori is? Or what's on the 31st, oh, the last, the last Tom day last night. <laughs> Does he have... I can't see it. Does he have the uh, McCree attire? Uh, I'm going to tell Sons you said fuck. that to Hey, I don't know. Maybe the thirty-first. Fuck. Why do people upload their calls with ninety-one and ninety-two and ninety-five overall? I'll, I'll never understand. Yeah, because dashing uh, Samuel Boone. Sometimes dashing <laughs> Samuel Boone is <laughs> overall. 
I'm going to show you his overall after this is finished. Sometimes <laughs> Dash is fat and lazy and fucking breathes hard into the fucking mic and just doesn't even try to change I'll, I'll be shit. Quiet. You're right. You're right. That goes what right. was that Brian Novak overall when you, when you oh, saw him, though? Shit. 109 or some dumb shit. 103. Yeah. When he first uploaded, it was like 150. Web, you oh, remember man. Web? They were all like n fucking 96 overall, and then like finally he broke under pressure and was like, yeah, okay. Uh, did Sushi all win? All right, I'll did stop, sushi I'll win, stop being fucking lazy and fucking win? do something about this. Did Sushi win, kid? Did he win or didn't he? I, I, don't, even, I don't even fucking know, man, too, right? Am I right? Scrub. <laughs> Killjoy now in the ring gets floored. <laughs> With a furious <laughs> punch there. <laughs> Fucking Tom can't get called out. That would be a pretty big loss, cop. I don't think you should mess with him. To be honest. Yeah, you, you'd lose voice Vindy, cop. <laughs> but yeah, you'd lose fucking Byron Elliott, too. No, those cops here? Oh, oh, hey, cop. oh shit. Big shit. time cravat neckbreaker. Off the ropes. Lion salt by Killjoy. <clears throat> surprised it didn't bounce off Gary's fucking stomach of flying through the roof there. I'm surprised it didn't bench press a fucking 600 pound fucking dude. What? Would you like to see him do that? Would you like to see him bench press a 600 pound guy? I don't know. Yeah, I've seen a 600 pound ass. guy fucking do a goddamn somersault fucking. 360 backflip through the air. No, -uh. I don't think Grid was 600 pounds. To be fair. Oh, okay, but he was seven fucking four. Yeah, that was fucking stupid as hell. Oh, Killjoy with that vintage snap DDT. Echo's a big Killjoy fan. We know that. Not uh, gonna lie, Killjoy. Killjoy is just like insane Killjoy. with face paint on. Wait a minute, Gurry could be in trouble. Yeah. Killjoy. Actually, Killjoy is Vega Riley. Vega Riley, there it is. <laughs> I think Gurry might have just countered Red Nose Shango's tag fin attempt, which is good news for him. Out of the corner he goes, up high, shin breaker. When are you going to bring back that Vega Riley gimmick when Justin Sane finally snaps? You know, Dawns the face paint once again. Gimmick when they first start in a, in a uh, Xander Slate wearing his Christian tights. Oh, look at that power <laughs> bomb. <laughs> By fucking Gurry just killing Killjoy. Look at that angle, too. Looks like he's literally raping him, and Gurry gets the win. Gurry beating not one, but two men here. Like, like, like wasn't no thing but chicken wing, you know what I'm saying? That power bomb is nasty, though. Look, that Damn. angle is really. I don't know how I felt about that angle. That shit looked painful. Oh, shit. Gurry how taking on all cars. He won, though. Gary <laughs> killing him. Look at him. Doesn't make go ten men against him. Yeah, I'll be, so I'll be he's a loogie. Good, yeah. He's a loogie, <laughs> homie. Come on. <laughs> loogie for life. Remember when? Do you remember when Xanderson had that attire that defined what a heel was mm. on the back? I think that was my favorite attire of his. That's okay. Gonna bring Define that back. what a heel was on the back. Yeah, back definition. of your shirt defined what a heel was. The definition of a heel. The one that Zander that was a good one. The first season. Uh, Z I think Xander had it. Damn. Oh, Damn. Yes. I don't recall. Bob, look at your left side of the tweet saying, "All oh, my loogies did good tonight." Hashtag proud. A proud papa. Why emphasis see, on? Hey, all? see, I'll tell you right now. That's how Luger owns it and makes fucking Sam Valentine look like a douchebag. All right. So, well done. Papa Lugie. Well done. <laughs> Papa bless Big Lug. Got him, Coach. Hey, props to Big Lugie, man. <clears throat> I'm setting you up for success. Tom I'm in. setting you up to be a bigger champion than just the same. Tomcat ain't, ain't a bitch right now. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <I'm not> <laughs> bitch. Cop, you want me to just ban your account fuck? now? <laughs> you just got fucking shat on I just died, man. Cop, I'm gonna unfriend you on Facebook. I can't be associated with you now. Punk out, champion of the world. Tomcat. First off, the loudest main event time. El Jefe de Arriba, man. Battles the new cocky attitude of Bryce Hurt. Dude, he's always had that attitude. I just haven't made a promo yet. Shit. Bryce Hurt saying two weeks ago that he's gonna burn brighter than the sun. He never said that. 
get more heat. You couldn't, you couldn't believe how much heat he's going to get. Couldn't believe. Kind of wussed out of a fight with Alex Taylor earlier on a Genesis. <clears throat> Taylor coming out challenging uh, Bryce saying, nah. Wussed out of a fight. That sounds like every other fucking call you make. Ha! Ah, 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 Oh, was that too serious? Was that too? Did I take yeah, it too? Did I, I wasn't of course. Did I get too El serious? Jefe, El Jefe got I shafted apologize. out of his match on Genesis after Caden Kenner brutally El attacked Jefe him. Ain't even got no eyes. Match got thrown out, so he doesn't need him. He's the human fish. He's the hey, you remember, Eba man. You remember even when we asked the eight ball? Fish. I mean, even fish have eyes. You remember when we asked the eight ball if uh, he should have his fucking? There it is. Go, baby. Uh, <laughs> sorry. You remember? <laughs> what? We asked fucking match goddamn eight ball if Hell Half A should take his fucking goggles off, and the eight ball said yes, and Topher didn't take them off. And guess what? Losing streak ever since. Fuck Hell Half A. How do you feel about this? What happened? Dude, that's a fucking big LHF hey, fan. Look, that's, that's a fucking know. fact. That's a fucking fact. Look it up. Go back to the fucking episode where we asked and it said yes. We're like, Tover, take it off. Losing streak ever since. What kind of fish have wings? <laughs> Flying fish. <clears throat> yeah, you fucking idiot. They don't have There's wings, no guy. They don't have fucking. There's no wings, They're guy. Fucking... That's a joke, you fucking. They just get caught in the wind. <laughs> uh, birds. <laughs> yeah, with the, <laughs> fucking birdfish. <laughs> fucking gumbel over here, <laughs> legit thinking I thought they had fucking feathers. Hey, guy, they don't have feathers, guy. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Feathers, really? <laughs> Flying fish. Come on. Fuck hate. <laughs> Nonetheless, let's see if the Hefe can bounce back from this series of uh, is losses. Is this the default board. entrance? Hey, who's that? No, this is the entrance you gave him, kiddo. Hey, who's Bryce that? Bryce Who? Bryce Hurt. This is this is Bryce. I get butt hurt. <laughs> yeah. Good one. Dude, why the fuck <laughs> Am I right? is the stars always that blurry? That burn of the year for the next Glammy Awards that go just got right there. Hey, is that is that on par with the tube though, or could I go better? <laughs> could I get bigger? I don't know. J Rod might get the Glammy for that, to be honest. So. Damn it! I feel like that was probably better than the the. Eh, Did y'all see J Rod's <laughs> fucking tweet on uh the Bubba's? <laughs> that's not my grandma. <laughs> that's my aunt. <laughs> 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 that Guys, I can actually announce, though, another match made official for Dark Carnival next Sunday. The real number one Bubba's have been uh, told they will be defending their titles at Dark Carnival. And to figure out who against kicking off Dark Carnival will be a triple threat tag match over the top rope. Party Hard, Warriors Justice, and Hotline Miami will do get out the winners later on. Where's the new guys at? Fucking bear. I need to get each other out. The real I need to make Bubba's. new, new, the I need to make new, 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 new gods. Wait, why How did the new gods The new gods got their title match five months ago. everybody and have no repercussions. How was Topher, or not Topher, yeah, how is the bloody Brit able to how? revenge Matt Thompson every week and there's no repercussions? <laughs> the new gods literally beat up, the the new you, guys literally beat up a guy that beat Wait, them up who, who had no 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 repercussions. So get Johnny out of Simpson here. Johnny Simpson doesn't care. Johnny Simpson because he's fucking the boss's daughter. And you can beat up anybody that's on that that's reporters and shit. That's perfectly fine. I mean, no fine. The new guys, the, the new Sunday guys only Carlo. ever attacked. Schmitty because he fucking deserved it and attacked them first. So you're, you're <laughs> After talking about the guys have attacked oh! everyone. Rip El Jefe. They've never Rip attacked Rip. anyone. Yeah, they didn't actually attack anyone. Rise. I mean, did the Show Nexus me? get repercussions? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Gumblesaur. Come on. That is true. But they're the fucking guys? faces! Show me, once where the, show me once where the new did guys attacked that, someone provokingly without fucking being attacked first. Wait a minute. Wait, didn't Randy Orton punch wait, 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 wait. man in the head and not get any repercussions? My bad, my bad. Well, who was the faction that destroyed uh, me and you then, Echo? Rise, Rise, Rise. Rise. That was Rise. That's who. That's Rip. My, that's wow, my place. I'll take that trouble. I'll take Way that to one. follow I'll take my, that my fucking... My 
Way to no, follow my don't stables, me. man. Don't fucking <laughs> New Gods are fucking a hundred times better than Rise. Fuck Rise. Wow, whoa. Who the fuck is whoa. Rise? Uh, I'm yeah. pretty sure Rise beat New Gods in the tag team cup, kid. So yeah, the fact the fact, fact of the matter. Sewer. Uh, yeah. yeah, the fact of the matter yeah. that the guy who owns Just Insane didn't know who the fuck Rise is, but knew the name of New Gods. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. You're so. <laughs> Who's Nicola? I'm gay. I'm <laughs> gay. I might be gay. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait. Wait. Bryce heard about to get a mouthful of that fish dick, son. Look at that. Oh, just jamming it down. Bryce Hurt's not loving it. <laughs> but we know what follows that up. Always El Jefe. Oh, no. He's going to go for the pin. <laughs> Fucking Dash, you just cuts me off as soon as I say I might be gay. He's like, wait a minute. Wait. Wait. <laughs> 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 The universe is, is waiting in suspense. They want to know uh, if I'm, I'm, if I'm, I'm gay honestly, or not. I honestly want to know how you feel about Mori just fucking ruining your whole life right there. Just kill Wait, what did he say? What did he do? Wait, what happened? New Gods fought a nine-year-old. Wait a minute, El Jefe. When did the fuck did New Gods fight a nine-year-old? When did this you happen? You did the dance uh -huh. with that big-ass right to the face, into the Mori, if you're talking about the New Gods One, talking shit to you two, because you're nine-year-old, that doesn't count. Win. Wow. The human fish, the Arriba man, pissed off that he got shafted on Genesis, brings that fire to the night, puts down Bryce Hurt. <laughs> Bryce who? <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh. <clears throat> oh, got a face full of that fish dick. Tomcat got destroyed tonight, though. Tomcat on that uh, fish dick. I, I think you mean that Tomcat destroyed cop? Shut the fuck up, but, uh, pussy. You haven't seen the, haven't he seen said, the official diss track for it. He said, one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, Miz, go to gay strip clubs. <laughs> 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 Damn, rip top. But a big win for El Jefe. Getting back to them winning ways. Tomcat fucking dominating cop, though. He's the human fish, hardline. He's the Arriba man. The one and only El Jefe. Oh, and as always, guys, fuck. shut the fuck up. That makes no fucking sense, though. <laughs> as always, guys, you like what you saw, you want to see more, make sure you follow me tomorrow. You like what you saw, go ahead and like add me on uh, uh, the Twitter so I can five. send dick pics to you. Addition number five, you got that Elimination Chamber qualifier, Salim Ismail and John Reed duking it out. Dark Carnival, going to be next Sunday. Okay, if you want to join, you want your call on the show, exclamation point cmb exclamation point join in the chat click on that link follow those steps and get your car involved all the past episodes on my youtube channel linked on my twitch homepage. page you want to check those out all right Amazing. maybe go watch last year's regicide it was a good one triple h versus just insane main event did just insane killed him all right so go watch that huh? and uh what well, we got some parting words here batman what do you got to say i'm not saying anything man what a fucking pussy what do you got echo all right, listen, listen here closely, boys. Listen here closely, all right?